Hey, teens. <laughs> are you a hot teen out there? Spending all your hot money on what? lattes and <laughs> corn nuts or whatever what? you corn teens nuts? buy? <laughs> corn nuts? Maybe throw it. Yeah. Yeah, I I ate a lot of corn nuts as a teen. <laughs> sure, crunching what? on corn nuts in the back of science class. Oh, we're so relatable to the young people. Ranch flavored corn nuts. Just get to the is thing. this for corn uh, nuts? Like? Uh, my point is, you should cool it with a spend it on corn nuts yeah. and lattes. Yep, and, cool those nuts. And go to <laughs> patreoncom slash recall. Cool it with the nuts. Become a patron. patreoncom slash recall. Yeah. <laughs> One dollar will get you content. One dollar gets you bonus content like Molly calling in our pizza order. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or a bunch of Joe Prados. Yeah, you oh. love those. Everybody loves that. Toastregal.com slash Patreon. <laughs> nope, nope. Other way. <laughs> Patreon.com slash Toastregal. Figure it out. Um, um. Recall. Welcome to Toad's Recall podcast, the podcast where we talk about a movie we don't remember very well or have never seen. Apparently. Uh, eat pizza while watching the movie is the second thing we do. Mm-hmm. Thank you, patrons, for the pizza and the salads. Yes. Ooh, Today, you. special pizza note. We changed our pizza order, and I am very excited. Yeah, Me Molly too. drew charts to make oh, sure yeah. we like solidly understood what it was we were ordering. Yeah. Go to like... our Instagram story like a month ago. Yes. <laughs> so now you can't see it. Sorry. Uh, my name is Dan. This is Molly. I'm also Dan. And I'm Beth. And I forgot to say the second half we talk about the movie again. <laughs> my, oh, yeah. uh, and the movie this episode is... Star Wars episode the next generation. two, Attack of the Clones, the fifth, fifth one. one. <laughs> oh. Wait. Yes. Attack of the Clones. Okay. Did I get that right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you nailed it. I forgot that that was the name of it. Right. This has Every been on day. my calendar as Sith Bleh <laughs> for a month. I think there's Sith in it. Sure. I don't yes. know. I mean, there has to be, right? It's a Star Wars movie. Yeah, there's Sith in all of them. But we should say this is a uh, unofficial promotion oh yeah synergy with olo a star wars story Ooh, yeah uh <laughs> kathleen kennedy uh-huh. i think i called you kathy the entire last star wars episode we did but also please call us for synergy and <laughs> yeah give us some of that or Lucasfilm money marketing dollars yes so you're that welcome your star wars movie is a success let us <laughs> Talk about how much we probably hate this prequel <laughs> to remind people how much better your new prequel might be. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be way better. Oh, but we'll Donald see. Glover looks cool as shit. He does look cool oh, as man. shit. I would watch just 90 minutes of him with that facial hair and that cape. Yeah. Yep. Should it be called or Lando. Or fur coat or whatever it is. I've only seen a teaser. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Does anybody... I mean, I saw this movie. Uh-huh. I also saw this movie. I just movie. I also saw this movie. hating it. But I've, I have I've, no details. I've never seen this movie. What do you think it is? What do I think the movie is? Did you see yes. the third one? No. You've only seen the first one? Yeah, okay. and then I was smart and I stopped. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good move. Great move. Um, here's what I think happens in this movie. I've heard from several people who are like, what's your next movie? And I was like, we're watching whatever Star Wars 5, 2. Yep, yep, <laughs> yep. Um, and everyone is like, "That is, it is the worst one. And I'm huh. scared because Phantom Menace is so bad. It's really bad. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure that at this point in time, Anakin Skywalker is a teen. Okay. Um, hot teen? Yeah, he's a hot teen. He's I think like, he is. I think that's like the whole plot of the movie, right? Is he's too hot? Too yeah. hot. It, he's like probably got a temper, right? Because yeah. he's about to become a bad guy. Yeah. Way too hot to handle. Yeah. Um, but also he loves... <laughs> um, Padma. Oh, yeah. this is so good. Yeah, yes. uh, that sounds right. Played by Natalie Portman. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Um, I don't know. Maybe they get together in this one because eventually they be banging. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think this is the bang one? No. No. Okay. I think that's probably the third one. So third you think this one, is the, the this bang. is the bang teaser. <laughs> this is the bang teaser. Um, and uh, so from what I've heard about uh, the difference between this one and the other one is that there's no pod racing. Mm-hmm. And there's no cool fight scenes. Okay. At all. So I just think it's going to be a lot of like the 
Senate scenes, uh-huh. oh. like a lot of like government stuff that I'm not interested cool. in, and then angsty teens. Ooh. What do you think you and McGregor does in this movie? Um, Smolders. whispers. <laughs> Just whispers. <laughs> um, he probably is like hiding behind corners and what? whispers. It's like, Who is he whispering to? Um, uh, other Jedi That's that a... can like hear his like, why, mind whispers. Why is he <laughs> <laughs> <His> mind whispering? <laughs> like why is he whispering though? Because he's like. Because they're like probably stormtroopers okay. or something. I don't know. Stormtroopers aren't there yet. Come Wait, they back. are stormtroopers. What? Okay, the clones uh. are clones of J- nope. J- oh. uh, Jango so Fett. Jango Fett. Is that no, true? Boba Fett. Bo- Boba Fett. Boba thought... Fett. Boba Fett is a Jango Fett. Yeah. It's Jango Fett, and Boba's so dead. they're attacked by clones. Who? The uh, rebellion. Write that down. <laughs> rebellion but they're not the rebellion by yet. Which like which characters are attacked by the clones? Is what I'm asking. Um, the good guys. The whisperers. Yeah, the whisperers. <laughs> All right. The Jedi. Uh huh. At some point, I think a bunch of de- Jedi are killed. Okay. From, like maybe a thing that I've seen on the internet. Sure. Um, Yoda's in this movie. Uh-huh. I know that because he's on the DVD <laughs> upstairs. <laughs> I think there's maybe a part where Yoda like fights and it's disgusting and weird i feel like i've also it's seen disgusting that disgusting and weird <laughs> I, because it's I cgi double dan on that. you're double dan on the disgusting and weird yoda yeah. as a puppet is so much better than beth's bet mm-hmm. <laughs> yoda as a puppet is so much better than yoda as a cgi thing thing okay um maybe jar jar banks is in this movie maybe god i oh. hope not did you say jar jar banks yeah <laughs> 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 Jar Jar Binks wealthy uncle. Oh, that would be amazing. <laughs> he has a monocle and a top. Oh my god, that would be incredible. The Mr. Monopoly of the Jar Jar. Oh, <laughs> I would love that so much. That would be good. Um, is this one with all the driving? What? I feel like one of these is there's just so much driving. Two. Like Owen think... McGregor is like driving in a um, hovercraft okay. around the city. Okay. It's just a lot of driving though. Sure. Is Maybe. Uh, what's the? Maybe it's a chase scene. Oh God, Qui Gon Jinn. Yeah. Is that? Remember how he died? Did he die at the end of that? Yeah. Okay, couldn't remember if he was alive or not. So now Ian McGregor is just like on his own as Oof. lead Jedi. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> still the like council, right? Yeah. Like uh, Sam Jackson and Yoda are still around. Yeah. Oh, I bet he's like, I'd like to train. Darth Vader mm-hmm. before he's Darth Vader uh-huh. to be a Jedi and then all the other Jedi are like no we sense darkness in him that happened in the first they one they already yeah. did that. damn it <laughs> <laughs> does he I I don't remember anything additional and I have seen this movie uh-huh. uh, <laughs> wait what I literally just made up everything I just yeah said. I mean it sounds good to me yeah all right, you know how cool. movies work it, does uh Qua- no what's his name <sighs> Sandcook Oh, yeah. Obi-Wan. Oh, Obi-Wan. Yeah. Ewan. Um, Ewan. Ewan. No. Ewan. Ewan. Is it McGregor? Ewan? I'm pretty I've sure it's I've never Ewan. heard anyone except you pronounce it that way. Ewan. But I've also Ewan. never paid attention Ewan. to people saying his name out loud. I want to say Ewan. 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 Tweet at us. Ewan. Ewan. Or call yeah. me directly. Whichever. Or Jenny oh. Tatum. Or call Molly directly. Oh, Molly just kind of <laughs> blushed. And... Oh. He's a hunky dude. Oh, man. In this movie? In general, does oh. he still have that gross hair braid? Thing? Oh no, that's a that's no because now he is again. Training yeah. Braid. I think in this one he is because he has inherited Qui Gon's like lead Jedi role. Oh, okay. Now he gets For to grow sure. like a sick Jedi beard as required. Yes, uh, and I think he just has like I don't know regular Ewan McGregor hair instead of the weird like rat tail thing. So okay, the movie or the TV show Clone Wars. Yep. <laughs> Does that take place after this movie? Yep. But before the third movie? Yep. Yep. And okay. wait, which one? Because there's the really great one that's animated by Gendy, and then there's the crap CGI one. Um, Both, right? I don't know. Mm. I just can picture like the Ewan McGregor cartoon version, who does have a beard, mm-hmm. but it's like a short beard. Yes. Mm. Okay. Oh, yeah, I guess it's a short is beard. Th- this is the first time we see clones? No. What do you, you mean? Think the first one? Like they're all lining up? What? No. Robots. Those, are robots. Robots. those are robots. They were those ones that are beep, those aren't beep. clones. Those no. are robots. They're what? Oh. I mean, they're clones in the sense that like there's a master blueprint. I thought those were clones. Clones so of who? Who are the clones? They're people. What? They're people. Like human clones. Wait. Robots are not clones they're unless I guess you consider them like a sentient species. So, uh, so Jango the stormtroopers? Oh yeah. Who? 
Are the stu- stormtroopers clones? Yes. Yeah. According to this movie, yes. But, we should we should take okay. a moment, as we always do. Oh, yeah. Yes, thank you. To tell the nerds to shut, shut up. up. <laughs> the whole point is we don't know things, so can it? But also tweet at us. Yeah, please. <laughs> Hashtag why I'm shutting up. <laughs> why I'm Wait, shutting no. up. So they're tweeting at us why they yeah. aren't saying anything mean to us. Yes. Yeah. Aww. Okay. They're like. We get it. Not yeah, everyone I, likes the thing that we like. I really appreciate yeah. that you took the time to like. Yes. But also the nerds hate me. this one too. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So maybe they're excited but, about it. But maybe that's what, why they're shutting up? up. What's up, yeah. Molly? I really thought. Oh, man. You thought the robots were people? I, no, I never thought they were people. I just thought they were the original clones. Oh, like they had and a human the clone trooper. brain Whoa. in the robot? No, no, no. So well, why are they... I guess they... they are replacing the army. The clones are, right? Mm-hmm. Like, so before the army was those dumb robots, and they're like, why don't we replace it with this awesome, like, fighter well, dude? Well, the robots... Yeah, fighter dude. Okay. The robots are the army of the, like, weird... Emperor? Political rebellion that started in the first one. Wait, right? the rebellion? Okay. You know what I mean? Like Not all those, the... like the trade federation and all that shit. Yeah, oh, they God. were the ro- they had the robots. Oh, Christopher Lee's in this movie. Yes, Space Dracula is here, <laughs> <laughs> and he's in charge of the clones. Yeah, I don't remember. Are, wait, the are ba- the clones the good guys or the bad guys? It's unclear, Molly, because. The Emperor is playing all sides. Oh, this is so tedious. Intrigue. But Christopher Lee is the bad guy. Yes, Space the, Dracula. And he fights Yoda. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Are you just called Dracula because of how he is? is mm, yes and no. Like, partly because it's Christopher Lee. Does he have Dracula Lee, powers? But, well, I mean, don't they all kind of have Dracula powers? That's don't all the cool. Jedi kind of have some Dracula powers? So. Does Christopher, is Christopher Lee the, like, Do- bad wizard in Lord of the Rings? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. yeah. The one who turns bad. Yeah. Ooh, what's this? That's, what do you mean? What's going on well, there? I w- like, feel like there's some under. Isn't Sauron also a wizard? I thought no, he was like Sauron's like a Sauron. weird like. Wait, I thought you were like super into Lord of the Rings. I, Sauron's I mean... like a weird demigod, right? Or but some shit. That, I mean, that kind of makes him a wizard too. I thought he was just a big. Sure, guy. I guess. Shut up, nerds. Yeah, <laughs> shut up, nerds. <laughs> He's Space Dracula because partly because yes, it's Christopher Lee who has played Dracula before, okay. oh. but also because like does he wear a cape? Yeah. Oh, like that's what I mean. Like he is basically like, what if Dracula were a Jedi? <laughs> like he wears a cape, he wears all black. He's, you know, I don't know, well groomed. <laughs> well, I'm into I mean, that. Yeah. Okay. I am in there. Like, that's the part of this movie where I feel like that's where it could shine is Space Dracula. But I just feel like everything around it will just, like, tamp the enthusiasm I might glean from Space Dracula down. I just, I, my recollection is everything is very wooden and hollow. Yes. In nearly every aspect of this Yeah, one. that is where Space Dracula fails, I think. If I remember this, it's like, oh, this is great, Space Dracula. But then every time he opens his mouth, you're just like, oh, that's what you're having him say out loud? <laughs> Damn. I feel like there's a, a a balcony scene. Okay. With um Anakin and Padme. Pad Padme. Padma. Padma. Oh, right. I think it's Padme. That sounds more. Padme. I wanted to say Padma. Lakshmi. It's Padma. Lakshmi? Yeah, from Top Chef. Yes. No, it's um, not that. They, not those are different people. Padme. Portman. Anyway, uh, Natalie Portman. Yep. There's a very oh. awkward scene with um. Oh, one? Just one? <laughs> Write that down. Always bet. There's at least one awkward scene. <laughs> I don't know. Does she talk to any? Are there any? Is there any possibility of oh, Becca going... Wallace passage? She has like fake Servants. hers. Yeah. Right. She has like body doubles. Yeah. But I don't know if she ever actually interacts with them. I don't know that she says their names or yeah. says more to them yeah. than like fetch my. Yeah. Like I'm worried they just have names in like Wikipedia oh. or something. Seems like no. Yeah. Is this the one that ends <laughs> in a uh like an arena? Yes. Setting? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. That I th- that I'm going to bet this came out in 2002. Okay. Yes. Cuz I remember uh, <laughs> the year I watched this one I got my heart broke real bad. Oh. Um, uh and I was real grumpy watching it for a whole bunch of reasons, yeah. but then at the end, it's there's like this also has what passes for a love story. Yes, 
Um, and I was like not feeling it. And then there's a scene where Manali Portman gets like injured, but really her, she just loses clothing. Like a video game injury. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, fuck this. Like, nah, no one's happy. Everything's the worst. Yeah. What are you doing to me? Movies. Yeah. Nothing is real. Love is a lie. <laughs> wow. So 2002. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. I mean. I want to bet another year to be spicy, but I feel like with that much evidence. That feels also right. Yeah. Because, like, I would have been in junior high and not interested in seeing this movie. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel like I saw it out of obligation. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I saw but all of these. I have to say, there's some potential I haven't seen it. What? Why? Because Cause it's, it's you? So, because it's me. <laughs> and because it's so unmemorable. Mm. And I'm like, I think I might just remember backgrounds so maybe i just saw the art i don't yeah, know yeah, we'll find yeah. out like still photos i really believe i saw all three out of just hatred mm-hmm. but that might be the matrix i'm thinking of so mm-hmm. i don't know i really enjoyed the first matrix just to be clear yeah shut up nerds yeah it's a great movie uh, <laughs> and i'm interested in watching the second two again there's another one what no there are three matrix movies oh i know but yeah. what do you mean i phrased it poorly yeah. two and three Oh, you're looking forward to watching two and three again? I'm open to the idea. Oh, are we watching that? We don't plan on it. But he's open to it, is what he's saying. I get it. Tweet at us. No, I'm just kidding. No, go ahead. If you want to watch (laughs) Matrix two and three with me, (laughs) sure. (laughs) Uh, There's a there's a big battle. The robots fight the clones. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's it's hard to tell because it's just like a, a like a wide shot of a bunch of like you know, ragdoll physics CGI figures like swiping at each other in the in a, a arena or whatever. It's in an arena? Oh. Yeah. Well, like, this, I mean, the battle is so incoherent that Sam Jackson, like, expressly asked that his lightsaber be a different color than everyone else's so he could, like, show his kids where he is in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. Is... <laughs> the best darth vader kills uh-huh. all the jedi is that this movie no is that true no. yes what really okay. oh all that has to be that could be all of them third well, one is where he one. breaks bad he breaks bad in the third one but this one is like oh he might break bad because okay. he breaks bad okay because he, he definitely... breaks bad by burning down burning everything down right does he get a like a scar on his face in this one yeah i think so oh does he lose his hand yes <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think he does. He does? I think he does, yeah. Wait, I think Space he, like, Dracula f- cuts his hand off. Fall in lava in the third one? Yeah. Is that supposed to be like, oh, like father, like son, he also lost his hand? I guess. I mean, they did that in Return of the Jedi already, but... They did? Yeah. We'll see it. We'll watch it eventually. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, that parallel was already made in the first trilogy, but they were like, let's just do it again, right, guys? Remember this? Do you remember when his hand got cut off? <laughs> hey, do you remember C-3PO and R2-D2? They're here, too. Wait, Darth Vader gets his hand cut off? So many times. Yeah. But his fake hand? So many times. Yeah, he only has he, two hands. He gets his real hand. <laughs> he gets his real hand cut off by Space Dracula in this one. Okay. Then, in Return of the Jedi, he gets his robot hand cut off by Space Jesus, his son. Okay. <laughs> That's two times. Yeah. That's a lot of times. That's a lot of times to get your (laughs) hand cut off. Why are you acting like that's not enough times? So many times. Sounds like five or six. Well, we don't know. There were a lot of years between him turning to Darth Vader and Return of the Jedi. Like, he could have gone on crazy adventures where his hands keep getting cut off. Kathleen Lucas Films. Yeah. Talk to us. Talk to us. And then he has to, like, go to to the Emperor, severed hand in hand, and be like, I did it again. Does he have a swap and pop? Oh, Oh, I don't know. Maybe. I hope so. It's, I don't know if they really go into it. Maybe the cartoon does, though. Maybe that shitty cartoon Molly hates. Like, he pops his robot hand out a few times. Yeah, the shitty one. I it like could the happen. great one. I just want to be clear. Because, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> did we get to the part you were actually trying to bet on? There was a battle? Did anything happen? There's oh. a, love is a battlefield. Love is a battlefield. Oh, uh, there's a scene in this movie where... Uh, there's just like these insane creatures with gigantic asses. What? <laughs> like like asses the size of a like VW what? bug. No. Wait, yes. what? Yes. Come on. That's like their, their feature. Is During it? their like flirtatious montage of like they're falling in love. It's a wonderful space love. <laughs> there's like a scene where they're like in a, a beautiful <laughs> field. Yeah. They're in a beautiful field with like these weird <sighs> space cows that have like gigantic asses. <laughs> what? Just trust me, okay. Dan's bet. 
write that down. I wrote giant asses. <laughs> I feel like this is one of those quizzes on wait wait don't tell me where they come up with the stuff that sounds like yeah, a right. lie. Yeah, for sure. That okay, sounds like a lie. Here's another one. Okay. If this, tell me if this is true or a lie. Uh Anakin basically commits small scale genocide and that is not the end that is actually the beginning of their love story. <laughs> what? <laughs> wait, what? Yeah. Well, yes. True. 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 Yeah. True. <laughs> Because he's a hot teen, and he gets too hot. You don't give hot teens laser swords. <laughs> Who does he hot teen around with? What? Who does he heat up with his laser sword? <laughs> oh, gross. Oh. oh, God. Cool it, Dan. <laughs> he has some unfinished business, and then he seeks revenge. Whoa. And then he just goes nuts. Does he go back to the slave planet yeah. that has his mom? Yeah. Oh, and he like kills everybody there? Yeah. Oh, because his mom is dead. Yeah. Oh. And then she's just like, oh, he's such a tortured soul. It's horrible. Their relationship is so toxic. Because fucking Ewan and Qui-Gon could have done almost nothing and saved his mom. Yeah. Yeah. Like years ago. It could have been like, so here, that. come with us. If and anything, that he should have been a hot teen to them. Yeah. Yeah. But he was just a hot kid. <laughs> what? Say what? I take it back. No, what? Beth said he was just a hot kid. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet a hot teen. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. yeah. Preteen. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, he commits small scale genocide, but then like she's like, "Oh, he's such a bad boy," and I feel sorry for his tortured soul. That kind of shit. Oh, this it's is really upsetting. toxic and gross. Because he's yeah. got like the grease lightning of lightsabers. Yeah, like he is like <laughs> what? It makes Can the you girls scream. Oh, hey, <laughs> cool it, Dan. Yeah, uh, but yeah, their relationship is incredibly gross. Yeah, because like he's yeah, because this whole movie is like, oh, he's so he's such a hot teen, he's gonna turn bad. But then also they have to fall in love because, as Beth said, eventually they be banging. Mm -hmm. So it's like these really rough parallels where, like, they're trying to do these two things at once, which basically means Padma is, like, has terrible taste in men. (laughs) Which is weird because she clearly has made some good decisions yeah in like her she's life. presented in the first movie as like and the most competent she meets woman him when in the he's galaxy like five years old right. oh yeah that's right. really so weird. creepy yeah like i, I that in... is a hurdle right i mean for a lot of us i don't know oh speaking like, of she that she could have babysat for him yeah right uh on that uh parallel to that dan's bet there's a scene there maybe that's really gender though what? you know i don't know i don't know I Which mean, part? It, it's nice that it's the other way around, right? You, is that what you're going with? Like, well, no, I mean, like I guess some... it's like an older man, younger, and I guess an older man could have babysat a kid when they were sick. Which because she's like, she's like twenty, she's like eighteen, twenty. In this and he's one, five. Or the like, first how one. much older is she? I think in the first one, she's supposed to be like seventeen. Okay, so she's like twelve years older than he is. Something like that. Maybe even younger. I don't remember. I don't know. It's just like such, but it's like. Like, as an adult, that age disparity doesn't matter. But right. if you can picture your partner as a young child, yeah. I feel like that's Like, if you were, like, buds. Difficult. If you were buds back then. Yeah. That's weird. Back then, buds. Speaking of that, on that track, there's definitely yeah. a scene, Dan's bed, there's definitely a moment in this one where, like, hot teen Anakin and Natalie Portman are reunited. And there is sort of, like, a, you know, sort of, like, oh, he got hot kind of thing. Oh. Oh. Which well, is, I guess she hasn't up. seen him since. Oh, so they haven't been like hanging around since. He no, because he was oh. too busy being like a teen Jedi or whatever, and okay. she was too busy I mean, being she was in super government. Busy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well. But ugh. like, it's still weird because, like you said, she's like, "Oh, now he's an adult. He's like a bangable adult." Yeah. That's oh. like a little different, right? Though, because like, if they were like together all the, the time, time there had to be one point where like one day he was like a kid not attractive and then all of a sudden right. he was attractive right. where it was like they're like I haven't seen him for 10 years or yeah. whatever it mm-hmm. was yeah it's still weird it's yeah. just it's hard it's hard because it, it's so unnecessary to the story yes i think is what's bothersome yes correct there was never a need for him to be that young if this was the story they knew they were telling yeah yeah i mean I mean, sell those toys, but geez. yeah. And also, really, there's a lot of things that weren't necessary that happened in all three of these movies. If this was the story they knew they were telling, <laughs> actually, the first Phantom Menace would have been better if he was a teen and oh, had yeah. been on that planet for that, and it was already angsty yes, at that point. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Why didn't they do that? I don't know. They've okay. been people have been asking that for years. Wow. Well, we'll get to the bottom of it tonight we'll yeah. investigate we will investigate and report back put our space detective hats on <laughs> which you mcgregor totally does in this movie what? What? He, has a, shut up. he doesn't what? actually put i mean metaphorically i want no oh, i want to see the hat 
They oh, want to be the best part of this whole movie. Is he Space's greatest detective? Bit like half of this movie, the reason the reason Anakin is able to just be a hot teen with no supervision is because he's too busy solving space mysteries for like most of the movie. What? Oh, he's like CSI? Yeah. He's like trying to figure out where Dem clones are coming from or what whatever. Is, what is the actual <laughs> What is the actual plot deal with this <laughs> movie? I feel like I still don't know like the synopsis. I mean, there's a nice one at the beginning in yellow oh, text sure. scrolling across but, like, space. The emperor manipulates everybody, makes the clones fight the robots and then has the clones and now is in charge. And a love story. Yes. And also I don't remember if in this one he is like expressly given like emperor powers in this one or if it's like leading up to it more. Oh, is not like a big reveal <sighs> that he turns out to be the emperor? In the third he one, yeah. Disintegrates. What? What? I don't know, hmm? y'all. In this one though, he spends most of the time as just like, "Oh, I'm just regular old spaceman who's the president of the galaxy whatever. and then there's always a couple of scenes where he's like now i have my hood on and i'm talking to space dracula <laughs> through my holograms he's space whispering yeah exactly oh, are Jedi we supposed whisper. to know he's the same Mind guy whisper. i think we are yeah okay. yeah because it's like are yeah. there sith in this i mean he's the sith <laughs> <laughs> wait he's the sith yeah he's always been the sith <laughs> i thought sith had to be kind of ugly what why? I mean, Darth Maul's Did got... Did you ask that question 20 minutes ago? <laughs> Did I? I think so. Space Dracula is Sith, too. But he looks fine. Yeah, that's fine. They don't have to be ugly. What are you talking about? Well, the Emperor's ugly. He's wrinkled. He shoots lightning. Darth yeah. Vader's ugly. He's got a helmet on. He's stuff. ugly, though, what? from, like, circumstance. Darth Maul's <laughs> got Hellraiser face. Okay, that's just his species, Dan, you wow. prejudiced wow. monster. Wow, 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 wow. His whole species wow. looks like that. Well, we never see any good, those guys. That's true. That's yeah. confusing. They probably were in wow. the shitty cartoon you hate, right? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Well. All right. What are you trying to? What are you asking? Why aren't the Sith ugly? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> because it matters what's on the inside. Yeah. Okay. And they got ugly insides. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And then eventually the corrupting whatever. Oh, it's a corrupting influence. I mean, that's that probably what it was supposed to be originally, but then it gets really heavy-handed in the third one, like everything in this trilogy does. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I cannot wait to watch this movie. I honestly am going to try. To find the positive in this movie. I wow. am, as I believe I did last prequel, trying to leave myself open to the possibility that I don't hate this movie. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'm not going to go that far, but I'm going to try to find the positive because I feel like it's 2018. The world is a dumpster fire. We do. We really need another hour of content on the internet where people drag on the prequel movie. <laughs> oh, now I feel pre guilty. It's fine. I'm well, trying to do this. Okay. You live your truth. Well, I'll do my best. You've been not excited for this movie for like two years. Oh, good. Yeah. I kept thinking it was a joke. Like you'd be like, it was just a running bit that we'd have to watch this movie. <laughs> oh, the fans are clamoring. Yeah. <laughs> no, the fans not. be clamming. Yeah. <laughs> and we got to help Olo. There what? Was, oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Kathleen, yeah. tweet at us. <laughs> tweet at us with marketing dollars. Please. Don't be mad at Kathleen. Okay. No, I don't think he was. I was don't. he? He made like an angry face when I, he said Kathleen. Oh, I'm I just saying like we already. I'm just saying we already have done this for you for the yeah. other movies. <laughs> you know how Last Jedi was a success. <laughs> You're welcome. You're I got welcome. Got the totes recalled bump. That's Same with right. Rogue One. Yeah. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. We suffered through that pod race so that Rogue One would do well. Yeah. I'm just saying. Okay. A little re reciprocal. Okay, yeah. I see. I see. You know. Maybe okay. Lucasfilms can be a patron. Dot Ooh, com yeah. Slash Rico. yeah. Oh. Yes. Yeah. yeah. For one million dollars a month from Lucasfilm, <laughs> I will voluntarily um, like ten million. Okay, for <laughs> ten million a month <laughs> from Lucasfilm, I will volunteer to write these movies for you. <laughs> Great. I will also Out of the volunteer goodness of to my write heart. movies for ten million dollars a year. Yeah. Uh, I'll volunteer to direct a bunch. Yes. Oh, yeah. great. Yeah. No I'll problem. do it per year. Yeah. Just undercut you. <laughs> hey. We could have been a team. <laughs> All right. So it's the moment of truth. 
Oh. How many clone whisperer hats do you think you'll get? Oh, wow. Wait, clone whisperer hat? Does yeah, that mean wait. like you're really good at telling clones what to do? Is he wearing a, he's wearing a hat? It is. Ewan oh, McGregor I get it. I get, I get is the clone okay. whisperer. He's wearing yes. a hat. How many hats? How got many it, clone whisperer he hats? He talks to the clones? In my prediction, he does. Yeah. Okay. It, it's, it's not about. <laughs> oh, it's not no, about it's whispering. He's it's just Jedi whispering. Whisper. But he also Jedi whispers to the clones, probably. Yeah. Yeah. And there are clones. Yeah. And, and he's got a hat. hat. <laughs> Great. Okay. He's okay. got a hat Clone for it. Clone whisperer hats. How okay. many? I've got a special fun game for this oh. edition because uh, because of the fact that people were telling Beth that this one was like the first one but worse mm. or like just as bad or whatever. Uh, I, I went and back and got our ratings <laughs> for the first one for The Phantom Menace. <laughs> Just so we have that as a reference point oh, to decide no. if we think we're going to hate this more or less than the first oh, grade. Oh, no. Okay. Is this like for the first half or the second half? Is this what, what we thought it was going to no, be? No, this is our final our ratings final of rating. Phantom okay. Menace. Wow. Okay. okay. So I gave it our scale, our Molly Chase <laughs> uh, created scale for the first one was lightsaber toys. Oh. Uh, I gave it a one and a half. I gave it one and a half lightsaber toys. I'm going to. That's not good. I'm going to, again, I'm going to try to be positive. I'm going to predict two Clone Whisper hats. I really want, I think I'm going to find at least a glimmer of joy from Space Dracula, even if literally all of his lines of dialogue are garbage. <laughs> and maybe there's some fun set pieces. I don't remember. Yeah. There's always weird colors and shit going on in Star Wars. There's <laughs> ships everywhere. It'll be, there's got to be something in there. Yeah. Two Clone Whisperer Whoa. hats. Excellent. Okay. Beth. Yes. You gave the Phantom Menace. Uh, <laughs> half one, not even one. Point five. Okay. A, you specifically specified a broken lightsaber toy. Um. Well, I was thinking today. Can I give a movie zero? <laughs> I mean, I guess. Uh. Well, okay. I'm probably not gonna like it as much as the other one, which was half yep. of a lightsaber toy. Yep. So I'm gonna give it point. Two five. Wow. So one fourth of a hat. <laughs> yes. Okay. Just like, the bill. Yeah, like but like a half of the bill. Yeah. 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 yeah like yeah. it's like you're trying to like put it on your head and just <laughs> yeah. sort of like flops off right away. Yeah. Yeah. It's yes. not enough material. After that luxurious McGregor hair, right? Oh. Yeah. We'll talk about it. <laughs> uh Dan, you also gave the Phantom Menace. Point five. Wow. But you specified, you you specifically said it was like you had asked for a lightsaber, but got a flashlight instead. <laughs> but the flashlight was also broken. <laughs> so it might have been less than point five that's, by the time you finished that thought. Yeah. God. All right. Well, I'm, I believe in myself open to the possibility yes. that I don't hate this. Yes. So I'm going to be Bill Bull, Big Man Baggins, and say two. Great. This is this is the first movie in the hatchet order, which oh, yeah. is the order to watch them. Who cares? To mm-hmm. like try to enjoy it as much as possible. Yeah. yeah. But like the first one's not even in that list. Wow. Okay. So in terms of like experiencing the Star Wars story, mm-hmm. it has importance. Right. Mm-hmm. I like Christopher Lee. I. That's it. That's all I got. Okay. Two hats. Two hats. Right. God, that Ooh. seems too high. No, be <laughs> open. Be open. Okay, and Molly, you gave the Phantom Man is one, <gasps> but you specifically you threw out the caveat that relative to the movie Freaky Friday, five. <laughs> I was just thinking five. about Freaky Friday and thinking like, is this gonna be worse than Freaky Friday? Because Freaky Friday will always be my all time worst because in addition to it being a horrible movie, it was one of the worst disappointments yeah. I have ever experienced. <laughs> Really, in my entire life, and I include childhood in that. Yeah, go um, back and listen to it if you haven't. It. It's devastating. It was it was the worst experience, and and to think that yes, of course I liked Phantom Menace better than that. <laughs> um, I mean, I think by the Freaky Friday scale, I'm going to start with three. Mm-hmm. Wow, uh, three, hats. yeah, Clone Whisperer hats. Yeah, and just be. I'm going to try to be open, and um, you know, I think. As long as I have Freaky Friday in mind, maybe I'll land above zero. I don't 
know. That's like, your goal? But I think you're right. I mean, I think there is so much just like out there that's just purely negative, and it, and it takes a lot of effort to create something, right? Yeah, it's and a, a miracle that a movie gets made. hard to create this thing. So I want to be, I want to go in respectfully, but it also is like, your richy rich like neighbor kid with like the the whirlpool and the water slide and the giant pool in the backyard yeah. made something not great right. versus like I don't know your other neighbor who's like been struggling their whole life to create something. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like I guess my expectations are different and I feel less sympathy for Richie Rich. Yeah. Uh the kid. Also that was a terrible cartoon. Uh but anyway. Uh yeah, so uh three. Three clone whisper hats. Great. And with that, we're going to hit pause. Go watch the movie of the title, Clone Clone Wars Star nope. Power. Well, yep. Unite. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> eat pizza and salad, and we'll be right back. Um, um, and we're back. We just watched two hours and 22 minutes of Star Wars Season 2, <laughs> Attack of the Clone uh. Monsters. And it was so bad. <laughs> it was so bad. And we're going to dive into it for the next two and a half hours. Oh. Strap in. <laughs> Uh, oh. I agree. It was really bad, and I didn't like it, and I had a hard time watching it. Yeah, I normally, like, even if movies are bad when we watch them, like, yeah. I still have a fun time. I still had fun, but I was, like, gonna fall asleep. I was so tired. I did fall asleep. Yeah, <laughs> Molly at one point just literally asked us, would it be okay if I just took a nap for the rest of the movie? I don't think we said yes, but she did it anyway. I mean, I think we kind of said, like, go ahead, but, <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, at that point, I don't think she missed much anyway. No, yeah. she missed a space wedding. Space wedding. I woke up for the space wedding. Yeah. <laughs> it did come out in 2002. Boom. Heartbreak. Yeah. Heartbreak Ooh, Hotel. Heartbreak City. Uh, so at what point in the movie were you like, this is bullshit, nothing matters anymore? Oh, I it's the part where they're entering to be executed, and now now she loves him. Oh, And then they sure. talk about thinking about each other as torture. Yeah. Ooh. It's now with more mature eyes, I can also see it's like a completely unearned love story. Absolutely. Like yeah. all the other issues with it aside, like. Ugh. It's that moment is not earned in not any at way. all, mm. like at all. That, yeah, like it, at all. It's like the opposite of that. Like yeah. she should be like, "Oh, I'm so sad to hear you're a sociopath." Yeah, but well, that should even been early. Yeah, that should have been like in the first twenty minutes. Like, <laughs> oh, you've got some problems. It almost like her revelation that she loves him should mean something. Yeah, and be built upon something. Yeah, I mean they have that chat in the field. I mean, I guess they roll around in a field, but sure. it's. And then he told her that he was really tortured. And that he murdered a bunch of people. he murdered men, women, and children. Because they were like animals and he slaughtered them. Like animals? Yeah. And then she was like, oh. And she was wearing like a dream catcher. Yeah. In the middle of her dress. Like a crotch. Yeah, in the crotch area. Dream catcher. And he keeps talking about how he dreamed about her. But I think we know what he's talking about when he says he dream catcher. Yeah. Definitely thinking about her dream catcher. Catching something. Yeah. There was a moment (laughs) where... (laughs) Uh, there was a moment where he in one of the great uh, pieces of dialogue in cinema history and they are in uh, space Venice or whatever what (laughs) when like they go to they go to Naboo and they're like oh Oh. uh, there's a bunch of intrigue happening but we're not gonna follow take you to it because this is more important and then she's like let's go to my vacation house that I went with like space legislator camp. camp or whatever she said oh yeah young legislators <laughs> oh, camp. amazing uh but she's talking about how i don't know she's talking about like how she would come to the beach and have fun in the sand then he's like i hate sand <laughs> it's coarse <laughs> and gruff and not bleh but not smooth like you and then he just like literally <gasps> just yeah, starts just... like stroking her oh, uh, I mean, exposed back that is like almost a direct quote yeah by yes. the way i just want to add that on that yeah. wasn't like a you know, just you saying it quickly. And I like, remember. <laughs> I mean, she literally says earlier, "Do not look at me like that. Yeah. Stop that. You're making I me do uncomfortable. Not want this. Yeah. yeah. And like, then he's like, "Oh, let me just stroke oh. your exposed shoulder." Oh. Like he literally, 
He literally was just like, well, she chose to wear that dress. So oh, like, no. Oof. It was rough. It's real rough. It's it's like one of the most toxic. It's it is, bad. It is truly awful. And not just like through a 2018 no. awful. Like just awful. And I think you're right. I think it's that pairing of the Anakin's becoming evil and isn't this romantic? Yeah. That really uh, is hard to take. Yeah. Yeah. Why and like it? neither is earned, really. Like neither of those story tracks are earned. It's more just yeah. like, oh, sometimes I'm angry and sometimes I go against my adopted space dad. <laughs> and then I, every once in a while I just start murdering things. Yeah. So he's he's mad because his mom is having a hard time. Like, to be fair, she's a slave and then gets captured. She was a, okay. was a slave. She was a slave. And then sometime in the last like... 12 years that she could have just not been a slave if Liam Neeson had just freed her in the first oh. movie. She got freed and then married a dude. She got bought and then that guy freed her to marry her. Mm-hmm. Yes. Which is a problem. Yeah. yeah. The way this movie was more casual about the sla- space slavery than the first one was, I think. Well, okay. Here's a scenario in which case I don't know if it would be problematic. Maybe it would be still. Uh, uh-huh. Maybe he, like, comes across her, like, she's in that town, and they meet, and they, uh, and he finds out, oh, my gosh, she's she's a slave. I have the money to buy her out of slavery, mm-hmm. then free her from her captor, mm-hmm. and, and then, then I can... will let her go. And then she's like, thank you so much. Um, do you want to go out on Friday night? <laughs> yeah. And yes. then they date for a while and yes. get to know each other better. They each have um, agency yeah, and they, power yeah. within their own decision yeah, making. I agree. And, and but to... also she'd have to be like, oh, I got this job and I'm making my own income mm-hmm. and I'm not dependent on you. Yeah. yeah. I think they had separate apart- sand apartments. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah. I mean, to, uh, to add to your case, we are explained that she was bought and then married by Watto. Who that's his name, right? Yeah, the flappy bearded bat thing. Who mm-hmm. is probably not gonna put things in the most delicate light. Yeah. It's just so I just love how he he was presented like a cameo on like the fifth season of a sitcom. <laughs> oh but gosh. like literally his role in the story is, Oh, remember how I used to be your master and your mom's? Oh isn't and it funny? Remember the stereotype, this horrifying stereotype yeah. we got yeah. criticized for? It? We're bringing it back. Yeah. There was like a lot of that kind of f you like bringing stuff back, like Jar Jar Banks coming in. <laughs> it was like, uh, Padme, was... certainly you don't think you should go off into vacation with this ruffian. I'm Jar Jar Banks. <laughs> okay. Remember how he talked like that? Yeah. yeah. Oh gosh, and then we watched it with subtitles and oh, yeah. seeing it all written oh, out. Oh yeah, the Jar Jar language is so much worse when it's written out. Oh, it's yeah. like Br'er Rabbit. <sighs> And there's also Spanish in there. A little bit, just yeah, like a taste, why? just like a hint. Yeah. Why? A hint of Spanish. There's nothing good. There's nothing Ugh. good. Still a terrible character, but not in it a ton. But in it enough where he was he was what turned out to be the first of many characters that are in a scene but aren't involved in the conversation that George <laughs> Lucas would just like cut to, just to like remind you that they were also there. Because they usually didn't even seem to be reacting to anything. Yeah, they, they just kind of like blink. <laughs> they or... should have been reaction <laughs> yeah. shots, but they were just like, oh, also this person's in the room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think Beth pointed out that even the extras didn't react to stuff. Like, no, that was not me. That was not you? Somebody that was a person did. that's not on our podcast. Oh, then it didn't happen. Oh, and no, it didn't happen. Never mind. It was well, it happen. It's non-canonical. But that's because <laughs> there's nothing there. Yeah. They were just all in a cube. Yeah. They're like in a warehouse that they wrapped in green. I think nobody green. even called action or clapped. So you could clap suddenly and people might. Maybe he just thought he was getting real yeah. Uh, yeah. crowd scenes and <laughs> just, just like, mill about. Okay, George says just run through the extras right now. Go, 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 yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, everybody. 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 Okay, George says. George says there's, uh, there's a space car coming down. And you just have to get out of the way of that space car. You don't want to get crushed by that space car. And then Ewan, Ewan, George says, George says that you're, you see the assassin come out of the space car. And you just sort of follow her with your eyes. But don't take immediate action. And 
They just filmed the extras no, I didn't listening say to this. I'm not saying action like the director. <laughs> Don't, stop moving. No, everybody back to places. Yeah, they... Uh, they <laughs> are pursuing an assassin. Who cares? But they drive through lightning and are fine. Oh, that was so... I totally forgot. Yeah. Not what? again, Dad. It was so weird <sighs> where it was like the assassin like specifically shot that thing to make the... Yeah, like the lightning field happen. And then they just like drove through it like it was nothing. Like, oh, whatever. So they can make a joke about power converters or was, something? Yeah. Like, but like, why didn't that do anything? It was like... It was like it made like a lightning fence, like an yeah. electrical fence. And then instead of it like killing them or like it stopping should, the car. they just like went through it and it just kind of like tickled them as they went by. And they're like, I hate it when that happens. Yeah. It wasn't like, okay, can we just, can we, so here's how I think this movie was written. Okay. I think somebody got some index cards and some crayons and like drew some cool scenes mm-hmm. and then would write like keywords like battle or like chase. And then threw them up in the air, gathered them up mm. in no particular order, and then just like, because I like trying to, I was thinking we should give a synopsis of this movie. Okay. And it's basically, I don't know. What I don't know they land Senator Am- Amidala, yep. uh, like immediately identifies the assassin. Oh, there's an assassination attempt. Oh, and it passes the back to Wallace right, right away. Right yeah. out of the gate. She like, talks to her dying gate. bodyguard. Yeah, which is it's actually very sweet. And, yeah. and I think some it, somehow some acting got through. I don't know how the editors <laughs> didn't catch that. And then uh, Whoa, Senator, sick burn. <laughs> Senator <laughs> Amazala, uh, uh immediately identifies Duke Doku, yeah. Doku, Doku, yeah. Doku that was as the assassin, amazing, and then gets shouted down by all these men. And like their and their yeah. reasoning was like literally like, no, no, he was a Jedi. He's a good man. That's mm-hmm. their entire yeah. logic. Yeah. yeah, and then they she's like, I think it's this guy. Movie over. Right. Like yeah. that's how it should have gone. Yeah. yeah, that's like the next ninety minutes of the movie is them figuring out what she said in minute one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is maybe, and I wish it were like some kind of wry social commentary of like, yeah, you said it, but we know better. Yeah, like there's no, there should have been a scene at the end where like Yoda and Sam Jackson are like having a formal Jedi ceremony of like, and we formally apologize to <laughs> Senator Amidala. Or even if they whisper to each other, oh, we should, we really should have listened. It's like, oh, anyway, shit. so that happens like the first three minutes. Yep. I don't know. There's some outfits, and then. <clears throat> So many outfits. Oh, and then Anakin's too excited to meet. What's her name again? What? It's been ten years. Yeah, he's Five a real creep. Yeah, oh, he's a, creep he's a super. He is like the creep supreme of this I movie. I dream yeah. about her all the time. Ooh. He's coming in hottest teen there ever was. Hottest teen in the galaxy. <laughs> hot head, hot bod. Not in a sexy way. I just mean he yeah. talks about stuff a lot. Yeah, he's hot for bods. He's, he's hot, hot for, for bods. a bod. There it yeah. is. Ugh. Oh, it's Ugh. just so gross. It's, it's gross. gross. All his pickup lines are oh. the worst. Do you think he? Uh, do you think he took like a like he ordered out for like a, a like book on tape from like this galaxy's <laughs> version of like the mystery or whatever that guy's name is? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like galactic pickup artist. Yeah, he dropped yeah. a couple negs. Yep. Yeah. Oh, he was. <laughs> he yeah. was nigging hard. He didn't like uh, politicians. Yeah. Oh, uh, maybe a couple. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I would just be a totalitarian. I mean, whatever. Yeah, that was the weirdest one where he yeah. like he basically said, "Yeah, if fascism gets the job done, that's fine." But in like a flirtatious way. And then she started taking us. You're teasing me. Yeah. And you're like, no, he's no, literally he's like literally you. gonna turn into space Hitler in like a few oh, years. Yeah. I like I don't understand why, like he is like a teenage boy. Yes. Maybe a junior, senior in high school. Sure. Mm-hmm. Who like. <laughs> has read some books and now thinks he understands yeah. the world. He has read the game and for he, sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the space game. Yeah. And now he's like trying to pick up like like a college girl. Yeah. And he like thinks he understands like what college girls are interested in. And then she <laughs> is interested in him. Uh, yeah. She is a two term queen. Yeah. And current sitting senator. Yeah. And, yeah. and and she was in Young Legislators Club. Like what, <laughs> what did this guy do? Yeah, like what really though, like what what appeal is there at all for her? Right? right? And I like mean, and she's, she's a better Jedi than he is. Totally. Yeah. She yeah. totally is. 
Yeah. She's very capable in this movie. Very capable, which I was, I kept assuming that it was like just because of the way the movie was so dismissive of her like logic every turn. I just assumed at various moments that she would stop having agency, (laughs) but she always came back like to the movie's credit. She'd always come back swinging. Yeah. Yeah. And but, sometimes a creature would just take a swing at her and take off half her clothes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As I bet and remembered, mm-hmm. she gets swiped <laughs> by a beast and then her clothes are half And it's gone. like, it's actually even less feasible than I remembered. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I remembered it being like, oh, the, the animal swipes its space claws and maybe she has like a few you know like slot like claw slots across her belly or something but no yeah. like literally it scratches like her back yeah and then like the bottom half of her shirt very cleanly <laughs> comes off mm-hmm. yeah, yeah it scratches and her back her and the front of it the front of her shirt comes off even yeah. though the back of her shirt was the thing that yeah. was scratched yeah and then when it cuts back to the sc- well she gets scratched like I believe there's blood. Yeah, there is. And then it cuts back. No blood. She's completely fine. Yeah. She's wearing a white shirt. Yeah. Yeah. No blood on it. Yeah, that at thing all. should be covered in bug planet dirt and blood. Yeah. And the weirdest thing is, this is supposed to be an execution scene, right? So it was like sort of like the Roman Colosseum, yeah. and it ends up with Senator Amidala, baby Anakin, and the other guy. Ewan. Ewan. Your Ewan. beloved Ewan. My beloved Ewan. He is so cute, even with the weird hair. God the hair him. is so bad in this. It's bad. Yeah. Everyone's hair is bad like, except what, is this for a Coen Brothers ever movie? Padme's. Padme's hair. I think her hair Padme's hair is even bad. What? Oh, sometimes Some, it is. Sometimes it's not bad. The one in the like Coliseum or whatever scene, she has like these weird braids. Oh, yeah. Look that gross. was weird. Her weird I, like braid ball. In the yeah. Yeah. Really yeah that's a good way of describing it. Who, that was braid okay. ball. Here's a question for you. Who styled their hair for the execution? <laughs> Who styles R2? Oh, yeah. We decided R2 is her. <laughs> <laughs> he laid out all her clothes. Her robo valets. She had so many outfits. Yeah. But I I normally would say, like, where were they keeping all the outfits? No. But there was a scene where they were yeah. carrying, like, five suitcases. No, they took care of that. Yeah. George was like, how are they going to know where she's getting the outfits? Yeah. Like, we have to follow that. was that. the one, like, plot The one detail. He, he was just like, wait, 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 wait. We need to shoot the suitcases again. <laughs> oh, man. But the thing about this execution scene, right, mm-hmm. is they have these three different horrible, scary creatures come out. Yeah. But they're being prodded with um, electrical rods yeah. by their handlers. Mm-hmm. And I honestly felt more sympathy for these vicious creatures than I did for almost any character in the entire movie. Yeah. I don't I- think they were vicious. I think they were like... These are the things that always like attack us, so we're gonna attack them they're so we can just leave. Yeah. yeah, I don't even think they were hungry. I think they're like, I gotta get out of here. I'm scared. Mm-hmm. I think yeah. they're scared creatures. And do they get the benefit of the doubt? No, they get used and then murdered. And then at one point, Obi Wan Kenobi just starts hacking away at one. Yeah, just like limbs flying and. Yeah, don't you feel like that scene would have been? You would have felt better about that scene if they like had freed those animals yeah. in some way. Yeah. Right? Or like ridden them to yeah. safety. They like they rode the well, one uh, rhinoceros. One. And then they killed it. Yeah, then yeah. they killed it. I feel like that would have been better if it was like he used his force powers to be like, Hey, I'm with you. Mm-hmm. Let's Jedi get out of here. Yeah. 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 It's Together. a Jedi whisper. I mean, it's yeah. like a ghost whisper or whatever. Yeah. A horse whisper. Yeah. Or even at least if they had managed to turn them on their handlers mm-hmm. yeah. and then they go down taking out their masters the masters instead of our heroes that whole sequence had like just a weird like hierarchy issue where like yeah so we're like they the innocent you know basically coerced beasts of the planet or some other Mm -hmm. planet they probably had them imported in right with the trade federation allies (laughs) uh they get slaughtered just because they're in the way basically Mm -hmm. and then earlier uh, Anakin like goes to that bug planet. Mm-hmm. He doesn't actually know what's going on yet, but like literally just starts cutting the bug laborers in half the yeah. second they show up. <laughs> and those aren't even like the bug soldiers. They're the ones that work in the robot factory. Yeah. So they're probably just like, hey, you can't, like, hey you can't be here. Or honestly, like you don't speak bug language. Some of them have been like, hey, you got to get off this conveyor belt. It's not safe. Yeah. Like there's a bunch <laughs> of smashy parts. Ugh. And he just slices them in half with yeah. his laser sword. And then they're in that factory. That factory made no sense. <laughs> the factory made forever. no sense. But then also C-3PO comes in and is like, his mind is blown <laughs> oh, by right. the idea of that robots making robots. That was amazing. Like, like automation hasn't made it to this <laughs> in yeah. the past future society. Yeah. yeah. 
That's insane. Even though, uh, I yeah. can't handle like, it. Like even if you, even if you gave the defense of like, well, he was built by Anakin, so his understanding is man creates machine. But you'd think like over the years, if his whole thing is about like, you know, knowing stuff and being able to carry on conversations, he'd have like done his homework and gone to that space library that we spent quite a few oh, minutes in. Oh, God. Why do we have time for the space library? <laughs> and why? It's like one of the few lines a woman has. Yes. And it's a librarian saying, well, if it's not in the archives, it doesn't exist. Which, like, good she's for unhelpful you, unhelpful and unnecessary. But also good for her because she's just like, get out of here. Yeah. Can I uh, cl- ask a clarifying question? Uh, certainly. <laughs> so, um, Obi-Wan is looking for a planet. Yes. In the Jedi computer system. Yes. It's been deleted from the Jedi Jedi archives. Correct. So then he goes to the space library to no. find the planet. First he go okay, here's the order of his, when he puts on his computer. when he puts his space detective hat on and yep. it, the, just to confirm there's no actual hat. <laughs> it's a figurative we hat. were so excited <laughs> at the possibility. <laughs> he's got that weird headpiece when he's in his spaceship, but yeah. I don't know what that was. Me neither. Uh okay, so first he goes to 50s throwback diner. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, where, uh, where there, yeah, there's like a saucy 50s waitress droid. Yeah. Uh, and then just like a big, fat, mustached, forearmed thing. With a low... Low pants. Low pants. So we get a little alien like, butt. Yeah. I for the kids. Blow. And then that guy... Do we we don't want to stop and give her credit for that? No, that's fine. It was pretty bad. Keep going. <laughs> okay. I just saw a significant look pass between no. I Molly's low blow, low pants joke deserved a silent nod. As as <laughs> so forearm diner guy uh-huh. is apparently an expert in assassination weapons. Uh, Who okay. knows what his life has been like? <laughs> so he must be in like the witness I protection mean, he's program, like, right? Uh history of violence, right? He's Vigo Mortensen from History of Violence. Oh, you think he like he got out of the game? Yeah, he got yeah. out of the game. So he tells you and McGregor, he's like, "Oh, this is from this one system. This dart is of this design of this planet." And he's mm. like, "Okay, cool." So then he goes to the library. He's like, "Hey, space librarian, I'm looking at this they planet." They also have a philosophical discussion about droids versus humans. Oh, and cloners. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, they're cloners. Annoying. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. So then he goes. Oh to yeah, the and library. then he's like really sinister about the word pocketbook, which makes it seem like he doesn't <laughs> oh, yeah. mean pocketbook. Yeah. I think he meant balls. <laughs> Right, that's. But he does it. No, he actually. I think like he's he saying pocket, but... it, like he does mean it. Yeah. But then he doesn't show up to the cloner plan. I'm like, show us your big dick, you. And it's yeah. like, no, they do sell them for okay, money. We. I want to get into that whole, like the whole capitalist element of the cloners in a second. Yeah. But the detective path is goes to the library. He's like, where's this planet? The librarian says, it doesn't exist, dummy. And he's like, no, oh, fine. So then he goes finally to a character we know, Yoda. And Yoda is like, <laughs> yeah. okay, so it's okay. not. Well, then he himself, though, the guy, <laughs> like Ewan McGregor, who has been looking into this for who knows how many hours, he's like, oh, all the gravity around this area where the planet's supposed to be, like, it seems like there's something there. Yeah. So then Yoda's like, oh, what do you think happened? And then some kid with a lisp is like, they deleted it from the archive. And Yoda's like, ho, oh, oh, from the mouths of babes, even though it's clearly the only answer. Yeah, they should have asked Padma, like, Padme. What's her name? Yeah, you got it. Amada Babala. <laughs> like, yeah, why? She would have been like, oh, it's why deleted was, from the archives. Like, in, apparently in the world of Star Wars, gravity yeah. is not enough evidence <laughs> to decide that planet is definitely right there. I mean, it would be different if we had understood that Yoda had said, hey, Obi-Wan, um, I know you're in a hurry to investigate this crime, mm-hmm. but I need to give a learning experience to these young Padawans. Yeah, if you like, gave him a little Can like, you whisper, come in like and, and give a scenario right. that a child would be able to decipher? <laughs> um that would be really great yeah. because I'm just, I can't come up with these I scenarios just, on my own I anymore. T- I don't know why we needed three <laughs> different scenes <laughs> about, hey, where do we go next? Right? Literally. Yeah. yeah like, why not just know where to go and then go there? Yeah, yeah. That's fine. Or even just like the one, I like the 50s diner. Yeah. And he's like, just... oh, okay, I'll go to that planet. It doesn't need to be. It doesn't need to and be shrouded in mystery. And even in the ship on the way, they could be like, "Oh, oh it's it doesn't not in seem the like records. It. it must be here. What? We've got a tractor ray yeah. done. Yeah. 
I mean, anything, like anything, like so little happens and so much happens. And what's infuriating is that neither are interesting. No. Neither the slow details nor the big epic battles. Like, I I feel like a bad person. <laughs> what? <laughs> because I hated it so much. And y'all, I just want the listener at home to understand that we made great effort great effort we would literally take it one minute at a time we'd be like okay give it a star wars positive minute yeah we would announce that we were going to try to announce it and we'd be like that's cool yeah that's neat those are those are kids in outfits i liked the kids i thought they They were cute cute, you know and we're just pumping ourselves up you know what like maybe like dig into that more maybe there's one kid who stands out a little bit more and Mm -hmm. is kind of like funny it's a funny part of the show Mm -hmm. you know well yeah, and that's the thing up. is they tried to make too many characters funny and then did not allow them to deliver lines in such a way as they would be funny. No. Well, then they would put... Ugh, okay, the comedy should have come in those conversations that they're having that are so boring. Yeah. Like, that's when the comedy <laughs> should have... It shouldn't be during the action sequence. Yeah. It was always in the action sequence and it immediately takes away any of the, like, excitement well, of what's happening. Uh, and I would like to add, though, you that works in, like, Spider-Man. Yeah. Right? Well, it works It's in not s- impossible to work, but it did not work it because it was It works in Spider-Man so because because the one who's saying them is the guy who's actually involved in the action. Whereas in this one, there's all this crazy shit happening in the background. And C-3PO is just having this weird little vaudeville routine like, off to the side. He's like, oh, my head. Talking to literally no one. Like he's not even, he's just saying things out loud. Yeah. It ruins C-3PO. Oh my God. C-3PO has been my MVP of rewatching yeah, because everyone Wars. should be panicking all the time. Yes. And in this one, he sucks. Because yeah. he's not panicking. He he's not overly worried and stuffy about he's just, enough things. Yeah, he's just like weirdly... He's just grumpy about mm-hmm. the situation, even though like he's in far worse danger than he's and been in in other he's scenes. Unaware in a way that that has not been his shtick. Yeah, to be unaware. Yeah, yeah. He's he's hyper aware. Yeah, yeah, and to be maybe overly pompous about things. Yeah. or like arrogant, but he's not like, well, what is this? Maybe he's unaware because he was just in an empty warehouse surrounded oh. by green screens. I, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but he thinks C three PO was having a hard time <laughs> connecting. Yeah. Okay. Hey, man, Anthony Daniels is a real dude. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Can we talk about the clone planet? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, with like the sexy giraffe people. Yeah. <laughs> with the swinging, the swinging alien hips. Oh, yeah. yeah. Why were they? Uh, why didn't their skirts fit? Why didn't CGI skirts not fit? They're CGI. <laughs> I don't know. You can make them. I don't know. Fit. I don't know. They did not. No, they didn't care. I felt like. Ugh. I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> I do. I mean, okay. All right. They were very cool. I liked them. Sure. They had a cool walk that was very hippie. This is yeah. a positive minute. <laughs> Ooh, they had those ladle chairs. Those were fun. Oh, I liked oh, their yeah. ladle chairs. Those giant ladle Spoon chairs. Ladle chairs are good. Yeah, which, like, the Jedi barely sat in, but whatever. They yeah. kind of look like Voldemort. Ooh. Mm. Oh, the things? Yeah. Yeah, Voldemort was, like, stretched out and had great hips. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which he might. He's always wearing those big cloaks. We don't know. We don't know. He could have great We don't know. J.K. Rowling, tweet at us. You you add shit to the books all the time way after the fact. Please yeah. tell us if Voldemort oh had God. a rock and bob. Yeah. Do his hips lie? <laughs> tweet at us. Hashtag Voldemort hips lie. Yeah. Or Voldemort hips don't lie. Which one is good? I feel like well, if your hips don't lie, it's if good. If you're Shakira, please tweet at us yeah. and explain to us. I mean, she's not going to advocate for her hips doing something wrong. That's true. So they don't, don't lie. Don't lie. They're so truthful like hips. The best way for yeah, hips why, to be Why would you hips. want your hips to lie? That's true. Yes. You wouldn't want to be like, look at these hips. And then all of a sudden they're like, they're not they that great. Lying. They were yeah, lying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or I guess okay. if Voldemort's the villain, maybe his hips do lie. That's why he wears that big cloak. Well, his yep. lips do Wait, lie. Wait, anyway, different franchise. Mm-hmm. Okay. What? I said his lips do lie. And his nose. Oh. Nose is weird. Well, Man, I was making a pun yeah. based on the word lie, like tell a lie. Nope. Never mind. Got okay. it. That's <laughs> wait, it's <laughs> that's lips. the same as the Shakira Lips and song. hips. You were rhyming lips and hips. <laughs> wait. Yeah. What? Okay. So Ewan McGregor goes to the clone planet, right? Oh. Right away. Uh the first stretched out giraffe lady is like, oh, rant like literally any Jedi. We've been expecting you, apparently. That like, part I enjoyed. 
that felt like an honest to God moment of intrigue. Yeah. And then it seemed for a second like he was doing real detective work. Uh, He's like, right, God, take right. it away. That's take what I'm away. saying though. That so it's sucks. like, but the intrigue <laughs> stopped. The intrigue falls apart right away. Cause like their whole thing is like, I mean, literally the only reason Obi-Wan makes any progress on the mystery <laughs> is because of like, I guess like Jedi racism where all the Jedi look the same to the stretched out giraffe people. Yeah. Cause they literally are just like, Oh, you're a Jedi. We know why you're here. But like uh, here, okay. Here's where I get confused because they're like, "Oh, you're Master Sifo Dyson or whatever." Uh, <laughs> like ordered this like ten years ago, right? Yeah. So did he pay a lump sum ten yeah. years ago? Because you'd think they'd be like, "Oh, we're waiting for our next installment." No, Is that you why want you're that here? Money up front, you're not gonna raise a whole clone army on spec. All right, all right. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to figure out though, because I was just like, they're just okay with him just coming in. And like, oh, clearly you like they filled in all the gaps for him, and he's like you said, well, he's doing got an so well. Planet. And then he fucks it up. Yeah, yeah he does. Oh, but they don't God. care. That's the problem. Yeah, he's he fucks it up, it and, they're, and like, they're just like, Whoa, sure, whatever. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The only guy who's onto him is Jango Fett. Yeah, who's pretty great. Mm-hmm. Sure, but and mostly Australian. He's mostly great because of those sleeves, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, like he kind of warm like. He ingratiated himself to us by, like, when he first are introduced to him, he's, like, doing this weird thing with, like, his tunic sleeves as if he's about to do either a cool kung fu move or close magic. Yeah. He's yeah. rolling up. Yeah. 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 <laughs> wow. I missed that. Yeah. Rolling up his sleeves. Mm-hmm. But then oh. him and Obi-Wan have a fight that's p- pretty good. Pretty yeah. good. I was no, like, like pretty good. Before then, they have a verbal spar that is quite tense. Indeed. Yeah. But again, uh, you it's learned like that to be interrogated by a Jedi means you lie to them and they go, really? Yeah. And then you lie again and they nod. Yeah. It was. Do you, I don't know if you've seen. I don't know how if you guys see have watched Kirby Enthusiasm. A bit. There was like a whole running bit in one season where like Larry David would try to like parse out the truth of people dun, by dun, just dun, sort of staring. Dun. Yeah. Staring at them with that music <laughs> cue. And they just stare at each other three or four times. And then you just go, OK. <laughs> and that was basically what Obi Wan Kenobi's version of investigating was. Yeah. Yeah. It totally was. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, there was a good fight. They actually were. Pre- it was actually was like fight. interesting. Yeah, there was a for a while. Jet. Yeah, rocket jet. And then it got less cables. interesting. They were like jump kicks. Oh yeah, Obi Wan mm-hmm. actually did like a cool like cor- Jedi kick. Jedi yeah, kick. There was like decent move. fight choreography. Yeah, yeah. So it was, good it job. Was good. Whoever. But good job that time. Good, good job, fight ranger. Yeah. Uh. Uh, that can be arranged. That was, <laughs> that was a good Peter job. Diamond's one moment. Peter Diamond. Oh, like he oh. came in. He might have been dead already. No. Oh, sorry. Peter. That can be arranged. Yeah. <laughs> he's just disappeared. <laughs> oh, he's not dead. He's just disappeared. Oh, cool. Oh. Okay. I'll accept that narrative. All right. Well, okay. So let's talk about. Okay. So Jabba Fett? No. Yeah. Jedi Fett? That's fine. It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Jenga. Jenga Fett. His son. Yeah. Was so cool. I know Boba Fett is super cool. So basically, J- J- Jada Fett? No, oh, Jada Fett. Sure. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so tired. Anyway. Jada Pinkett Fett. Has yep. <laughs> Jada yep. Pinkett yes. Fett has a, um, has a clone made that's unaltered yep. and doesn't have a, like, basically he has a son created. Yes. And that's Boba Fett, which is pretty cool. Um, but this kid is going to have, like, the weirdest life. Oh, my God. It's so hard. Right? Because not... Okay, so at the, toward the end of the movie, spoilers, <laughs> um, one of the Jedi cuts Sam off... Sam Jackson. Sam Jackson mm-hmm. cuts off uh, Jango Fett's head mm-hmm. in front of Boba Fett. Mm-hmm. So Boba Fett, as a child, sees his father's head cut off in front of him. Who is identical to him. Yes. yes. So, so try forgetting that yeah. yeah where there's an entire army where everyone looks like your dad but none of them are your dad Whoa, and then when I didn't you even think about that. yeah and then when you get old enough when you look in the mirror you look exactly like your dad oh and then they cut in on the scene where he picks up uh jabba fett mm, his dad's his dad's helmet yeah and it's such a sweet scene, but you're also like, is his dad's head still in there? And also, a legit it cuts question. away it way cut too fast. fast. Yeah, so yeah. fast. It's like, oh, we had time for the library, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. we can't be here for this moment. Yeah. It's like they couldn't pull the trigger on emotional moments. Like I think the editor one, caught that one and was like, get it out of here. Get out of yeah. This one could be meaningful to people. Oh. And then when fucking 
Anakin <laughs> goes to get his mom back yeah. from Tusken Raiders, yeah. mm-hmm. his delivery of I'm going to get my mother yeah. is it's nothing. terrible. It's nothing. It's, it's terrible. Like he's, I'm going to get some eggs. Yeah. It's, it's literally like I'm be going a slam down. dunk of like, I'm going to save my mom. And yeah. this is essentially my entire motivation for turning evil. Is right. that my mo- I was taken away from my mother. Yeah. And he just, he just sucks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's nothing there. Fucking <sighs> movie. Ooh. Sorry, do you want to talk about Shmi's husband? Yeah, I do. Because he. <laughs> Lars. No, that's his stepbrother or whatever. No, Lars buys her. No, Lars is her step kid or some shit. What? What? I think Lars is the Sh- Lars the husband. No, no, <laughs> yes. no, yeah, no. Exactly. Lars is the uh, guy who raises Luke Skywalker. Shmi's husband is the craggly dude in the wheelchair. Lars. Lars. No. Lars. The other guy's not named I Lars. The other guy's like Berno or yeah. something. Yeah. What? Bert. Mm. Tweet at us. <laughs> Hashtag who that Shmi husband. His name is like Shmeeben. Kleepo or, or Kreesno <laughs> or something. Kleepo? Kreesno. I don't know. The point Quizno is. Quizno subs. Quizno subs. Quizno subs is kind of great in the sense that when he first appears, it's this like craggly dude who's clearly seen some shit, who's one has one leg, is in a hover chair, and like every time he spoke, I was like, I want to watch whatever movie you just came out of, mm-hmm. right? Because yeah. he has clearly had an adventure. Like he had a home invasion story where the Tuscan Raiders <laughs> came in and kidnapped his wife. Yeah. His leg got fucked up. Mm-hmm. That sounds like a way more interesting movie with actual stakes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there was foreshadowing through actual shadows on yes. the wall. Yes. And they had to make Anakin's hair look weird to achieve that effect. Correct. Anakin's hair sucks. Do we? Do we already <laughs> talk about that? He's got the guy, He's got the Padawan braid. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's oh, gross, but it's so established grossness. Gross. Yeah. But then he also has like a tiny ponytail. I thought that was the Padawan thing too. Didn't you and have that in the first did one? He? Yeah, he but did. it's like it's like a mullet ponytail because so his front yeah. is short, but also slicked back, but yeah. not slick. It's confusing. <sighs> it's bad hair. It yeah. is like that. Is it's like a weird way of hazing the new recruits like we're gonna give you the most confusing haircut in the world <laughs> and you just have to walk around like, like that what is the point of that braid i don't know i'm sure you like cut it oh. off when you become a jedi or some shit and throw it in like the fire. it's a symbol of like how long you've been training or, or something probably yeah Ugh. <laughs> i grew up in the era of rat tails it was hard <laughs> it was hard <laughs> hard Ugh. yeah and I apologize if you have a rat tail. I'm sorry. That's fine. Know, but also cut it. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's, it's fine. not a good... You don't need it. It's, okay. it's not good. <laughs> We're just ready to give up on life over here. It's been so hard. It was two hours and 22 minutes. <laughs> yeah. There was a point in the movie, like, I don't know, about halfway through, maybe, where Molly just, like, asked Siri how long the movie was. Oh, yeah. And it kind of broke all of us. <laughs> It was that the point where you just got up and walked away for a while? Oh, I don't remember. There was, was some awful. moment where, like, just... Molly literally, it was like the equivalent of, like, flipping a table where she just was like, that's it, and got up and, like, went and took a break in yeah, the kitchen. She just, like, paced around yeah. for a second. <laughs> it was, okay. oh, it was maybe around, it was before the arena, but mm-hmm. after the library. <laughs> that's, like, half the movie. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, let's. Take a take a Star Wars minute okay. of appreciating things and okay. choose some MVPs. Yes. Oh, so we okay. Can talk about something we liked. <laughs> um, we already talked about fifties diner, low pants guy. Yeah, he was great and mm-hmm. droid waitress. I have a related MVP. Yeah. based on that scene, uh, the my I have an MVP that is the implied manufacturer of four armed white cotton t shirts. <laughs> <laughs> for that that guy wears because like he's literally just wearing like a Hanes tee but it has four giant sleeves yeah yeah, yeah. great <laughs> there was another droid at the very end yeah that's my MVP mm. do it um yeah. it's like uh Space Dracula gets into a <laughs> like a cab <laughs> almost. <laughs> He's like escaping. It's an escape cab. Yeah. And there's just like a robot that's just driving that car, but looks so chill. Yeah. Like like looks like a taxi driver yeah. and, almost. And we should be clear that driving this vehicle is apparently just like moving comically sized levers back <laughs> yeah. and forth. Yeah. 
Like it looks like he he was just like. So how long you been in town for? Yeah, the droid even like turns to him. Yeah. Like turns his head casually. I'm just like, oh, get, you just come out of that little battle yeah, going Where are you coming in from? <laughs> uh, I liked the um, creatures that were on the billboard. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, thumbs up? Yeah. yeah. The thumbs yeah, up those creatures. Were good. Uh, it was part of an advertisement on a building. They were like the from the band in the cantina mm-hmm. two of those aliens yeah. you think what do you think that was an advertisement for cantina band mm. oh just for the band and yeah. they're just like hey thumbs up we're a great band i think yeah. it i yeah. think yeah. it was for a soda i think it was for a space soda oh, but nice. they were like oh yeah but they're, they're like famous yeah. like yeah. celebrity endorsement i love it people endorsement people yep. mm-hmm. <laughs> i really enjoyed um Space Dracula's entire like council of evil aliens. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Like each one had a great look. Yeah. Each like, one still, was Star Wars more interesting. Does weird aliens well? Yes. Yeah. And this movie still did that. Yes. Mm-hmm. It still that weird aliens looked cool even if everything else sucked. And yeah. some of them were totally racist. Yeah. Sure. That yeah. still happened. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But like <laughs> the like bug people. There's like an old man bug general. Yeah. Who had like a weird bug beard that yeah. was cool. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. There's other ones. Oh, the like technoid <laughs> oh, guild yeah. or whatever who's just like, like the Mr. technical Freeze. guild, and he just like had <laughs> a giant chest plate. Like, looked like, like a '60s robot. Yeah, and he just and he like literally at one point just started like tweaking a knob on his chest <laughs> yes. for no reason. Yeah, that was good. It was just like someone had a good time with design. Yeah, oh, for sure. God. Oh yeah, and then there was like a like, guy with a like, big flat head. Yeah, the smarmy flat headed yeah. guy. He was just like, oh, uh, it's like Mac tonight. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. That half moon McDonald's yeah, character. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll show it to you. Yeah, I know. All right. Golden yeah. shake can. Golden Used to have. Rise. You remember the it's song? A good to- oh, I think I've got this whole thing. It's there probably, is a we'll McDonald's Big Mac tonight. in a suburb uh, of Minneapolis mm-hmm. that used to have a piano, like a player piano, with that oh, moon big, playing. No, that's it. terrifying. I know. <laughs> I thought it was so cool, though. I was like, look, it's playing piano by itself. And then it turned its head all and the way I around. Cried to you. And cried and uh, cried. I have another MVP. I have a couple MVPs. One of them, everybody. You, I mean, we all dragged on the extras in that scene after the car chase was over. But there was one that I think maybe didn't have the correct reaction, but at least had a reaction. I call them the over it extra because, like, <laughs> there was just this moment where, like, Anakin or whoever is like you know looking around for the assassin and it's just like this one guy behind him who's just sort of like walking by just like i don't know it, like he looks like a reaction like his his face looked like he was thinking like oh my god he's wearing that or something <laughs> like he just kind of like just gave him real shade and it was delightful because that wasn't necessary <laughs> <laughs> that's great uh oh and then there was uh uh, at the end battle, when a bunch of unnamed Jedi characters just come in and start flailing their laser swords around <laughs> in a basically incomprehensible scene for 10 <laughs> minutes, there's a quick shot of a Jedi, like, I don't know, I think he, like, throws a lightsaber off to Anakin or something, but he, like, he looks like he's just, like, a surfing instructor or yeah. something. Yeah. Do you know who I'm talking about? Or he's, like, Johnny Depp from Pirates of the Caribbean <laughs> as yeah. a Jedi, almost. Yeah, like, he just looked like... I don't know. Like it's like he was doing the Liam Neeson look from the first movie, but like in a way more just like burnout sort of way. <laughs> Another one of the Jedi's I liked was the one that had alien dreads. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, and he like, I guess he knew C three PO was a good guy because he like just pushes him over oh, yeah. when he's like attached to a normal combat bot, right. and then like kind of gives like almost like a side smile and a wink after he does it. Yeah. It's almost like he was supposed to look right at the camera and yeah. didn't yeah. do it or something. Thumbs up. In, in that scene, mm-hmm. I think we talked about it in the first half that uh, Samuel L. Jackson wanted a perp wanted a, 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 a purple lightsaber to stand out. Yeah. Why didn't like everyone have a different color lightsaber? Why were they only blue and green? I, I think that know. was that added to the monotony of that scene. Yeah. The fact that there was one that looked different. Yeah. Yeah. Like. It was just blue and green. Yeah. There weren't even red ones. No. Those are, that's the evil color. Yeah. Part. I do love the idea that, like, you get to pick the color of your lightsaber. Yeah, totally. Like, just like, you know, I'm going to have a little pizzazz in my... <laughs> this is my flair. But I played Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy, 
the computer game when I was in college. I selected a yellow whatever Whoa. crystal. I can't remember what those crystals are called. It doesn't matter. Space crystal. Anyway, I had a yellow double <laughs> lightsaber, and it was Ooh. awesome. Yeah, like, so cool. why not throw a yellow one in there? I don't know. I'm lazy. Probably because, like, <laughs> I, yeah, honestly, it probably was. It was just sort of like, George, do you want us to mix up the colors at all? No. Nah. It's fine. I like the crystal. We were, okay, I just want to say my bet about there being a lot of cars and a lot of car driving and yeah. racing was mm-hmm. accurate. Yes. Yeah. Excited. Yeah. Um, but I truly feel like the people at Industrial Light and Magic were like, how can we make this scene more exciting? And like, what if it sort of <laughs> sounds like the cars are going, Woo! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think like the assassin space car, just like anytime it like really revved up, it'd go like, Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Like it was haunted. Yeah. Maybe the whole was. part was like, uh, it's like boring Blade Runner. Yeah. yeah. I'm just saying something. Yeah. yeah. I'm just I like also driving have. Driving around dirty future city. Yeah. And I also have questions about like <laughs> the various layers of space car traffic that they were going through. Like, there didn't this seem to be. captured any... your imagination minority report, too. I think, Did it? Right? Okay. Because yeah. there didn't seem to be any sort of like traffic <laughs> signals or anything. So is it just like social contracts where they're just kind of like, this is where you put your car and like people just accepted it? It looked to me like it was like uh, like a jet stream, like the way schools of fish operate. Oh, sure. And that they're all like droid driven anyway. Oh, yeah. They're all like those little cabbie droids yeah, with the levers. So, yeah, like, I mean, it should be automated. Going, yeah, I don't know, though. But it turns out like you can get through a conveyor belt. You can get through asteroids. I and mean, really, the viewing audience doesn't even have to worry about you because you're going to be fine. And they know you're going to be fine because it's a prequel. And I think that's one of the most frustrating things, right? Oh, yeah. Wasn't there a part where you were like, oh, no, is he going to die? And then it was like, <laughs> Obi-Wan Kenobi was the character you're asking about. <laughs> yeah, it's like an extra hurdle. Of, yeah. I know this character survives. So yeah. it's harder to feel that peril. And it's also hard when they don't show any emotion. Yeah. And also how, like, you know... Anakin has to turn into Darth Vader. Mm-hmm. So like the whole time that he's like not doing that you're or doing like, it poorly, you're just like, what is the point of any of this? I would be okay with me if there were a moment where he seemed excited about life and like he really wanted to do the work, you know? Right. Like he really wanted to be a Jedi and then there was a struggle and then he went to the dark side. But as it is, he's just a surly, hot teen. Yeah. And he just gets surlier and more obnoxious and sort of a sociopath. Yeah. And yeah. so he still gets married. Yeah. To yeah. a senator. Yeah. I feel like those the two storylines of him having Skywalker children and becoming Darth Vader can't run in parallel. Yeah, that was a mistake for sure. And I know then you need more movies, which is a bigger mistake. Or you well, just make no. him a hot teen yeah. in minute one mm-hmm. of episode one. Mm-hmm. And yeah. save us all two well, hours. That's, that's what I was going to say. Like, the second one, like, if you, okay, let's say the first one is already in the books. It can't change that. The second one would be him and Padma's love story. And he, like, should be becoming a Jedi, and it should be, like, a positive experience. Yeah, and be, and like, could, actually like, good like, at it. Like, whoa, look at these. Like, yeah. I see how I'd yeah, exactly. this guy. And then the third one, that's when his mom dies, and then he breaks bad. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. then you actually sense. feel for him, because right. you're like, oh, my God, he was, like, such a good person, yeah. and look at all these horrible things happen to yeah. him, and that's, yeah. And it's also like, maybe, like, when his mom dies, make it actually the Jedi's fault, mm-hmm. so yeah. that he was actually, like, his motivation was in any way well-placed. Because yeah, in this one, random. it's literally just like random circumstance killed my mother. Now I'm on the path to destroy everything. Yeah. yeah. Oof. It was any of the mom death scene. Like she's such a good actress. She's trying. She's working she's trying. so hard, and then you just know they're like, "Oh, we need to make sure it's really clear you've died." Like <laughs> yeah. collapse further George, back. George says, "Just." Just throw your head. Just fling that head back. Can I tell you the thing that made me the most mad about that scene? Mm -hmm. Is that in a death scene, a lot of times they'll have a thing where somebody starts a sentence and then dies mid sentence. And you're like, what were they going to (laughs) say? But the sentence that she dies in the middle of is she just says, I love, I love. And then she dies. Yeah, she says it like four times. We know she's not going to be like, I love. Patrick Swayze. <laughs> you know I mean? Like we don't. We... I love playing Patrick. I love this curry recipe. Please bring it back to my family. The Tuscan Raiders are such good cooks. 
Oh, it's just so frustrating. Yeah, it's dumb. Yeah. It was dumb, and it's so sad because it deserves more than that. And 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 even the moment where he brings back his mom's body, mm-hmm. I want to be like, I know that you are heartbroken about this, but these people have lived and loved this person for twelve years. Years. Yeah. And you're acting like they are not allowed to be part of this. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, and their yeah, reactions yeah. were very muted. I mean, everyone's reactions were uh, very <laughs> muted. I, in just, this movie. I feel like probably occasionally somebody would actually act or show emotion and be like, whoa, 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 whoa you're throwing off the balance. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, tone yeah. it down. You and George, George says you're. Facial expressions are making it hard for the computers to keep track of the <laughs> tennis balls. You got to just tone it down. Do you think that they were directed into bad acting? Yeah. I think they just weren't directed into acting at all. Like mm-hmm. uh, there is there is stories that George Lucas famously most of his directions are just like just say the like say the line a little faster. Like he's just like right I think you said this for one of our episodes he mentioned I don't something. know it sounds like a lie. All right. <laughs> no, I mean, Does it no, though? I think I think it sounds perfectly it sounds plausible. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it's like the the overall story has great moments for emotional beats. Yep. And they just don't do them. Nope. It's like emotional beat goes here and they just didn't. They just kind of announce it instead of perform it. Yeah, it's like, wouldn't you be upset? And the score, surprisingly, doesn't support it. Then Dickie Williams. Wills. Thins it up. <laughs> or Dan's conspiracy theory. Either your DVD player is getting old and one of the audio tracks wasn't coming through and we just like missed the entire left channel of the movie and there's actually so much John Williams music that we never heard. <laughs> or it's insanely not John Williams. Yeah, yeah there's this... like a whole asteroid chase that sucks, but <laughs> it also doesn't have a score at all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The score in Star Wars movies adds a lot of the like intensity. It's crucial. Mm-hmm. And yeah. that's <laughs> at one point I was like, "Oh, you know why I don't feel like there's anything happening? It's cuz there's no music. It's mm-hmm. just like the silence of space." Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. And then the the one moment where he hits it the hardest with like intense Star Wars music, <laughs> Anakin's literally <laughs> talking to a Jawa yeah. asking for directions. Yeah. yeah. They were like, like yeah, right. Like they were like, okay. So remember that really fun scene in the first one where they're fighting the space demon with the two swords and those crazy flips happening, and Liam Neeson gets killed, and it's very dramatic. Let's take that music cue and put it over this part where Anakin's like basically just like wandering the neighborhood, being like, "Hey, have you seen my mother?" Yeah, and it's not. It's even, he's like in silhouette from far yeah, away. Right. It's not even like an intense, like he doesn't like pick up the jaw by the weird cloak that hides their face. It's like, tell me where she is. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. Oh, that is bad. Molly, you wanted to talk about Dukes of Hazard. Oh, oh yeah, what? I, this probably doesn't deserve a whole thing, but there just is this real moment that was actually one of the more exciting moments, and that's where Anakin Skywalker runs and jumps into a pod. Oh, for and he what? does it total Dukes of Hazard style. Oh, and he's chasing the assassin yeah, in Dirty Boring Blade exciting. Runner or whatever you called it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was neat. Yeah. And also I appreciated how uh Senator Amidala um pressed the same button. God damn it. I was so <laughs> pissed. You lost like I I went I got through this movie pretty well like most of the movie i at least was sort of like on the ride of enjoying as t- true tote says no i feed on the misery of the other three when we watch movies yeah. like this like your positivity level was high yeah it was but high. there is a moment in this movie where uh where they're like ewan mcgregor sends a hologram to their spaceship r2d2 is like oh let me record this because i'm so resourceful then he comes over to tell them for whatever reason, Princess Amidala's like, Archie, what are you doing here? Even though he's literally in the ship that's parked <laughs> 10 feet away, what else is he going to do? <laughs> they go to the ship, and the, the hologram is like, retransmit this to Coruscant so that Sam Jackson and Yoda can see it. She presses a button. You're like, okay, sure, that makes sense. You got to retransmit the hologram. No problem. He goes through the whole hologram, whatever. Sam Jackson says some ex- exposition because that's all he does when he's not cutting off heads. And then she's like, oh, they're never going to get to you and McGregor in time. They have to get all the way across the galaxy. Look. And she like goes to some, she's like presses the space map button, but it's the same 
fucking button. And there are so many buttons around they it. They built, they <laughs> actually bothered to build something for this movie. They actually built enough of a physical set where they could be sitting in the spaceship. And no one thought to tell her, hey, Natalie, just press a different button. It doesn't matter which one will change the display on the screen in post. I have a theory. Okay. I think she did press another button. Uh-huh. And then she got, um, uh, George George says um, you should press the, that button again. It's his favorite one. <laughs> It's good. It'll keep his ring. It'll keep his ring structure consistent, or whatever the fuck the internet's decided. These movies are actually a secret piece of art. What? Look it up. The Ring Theory. Oh. It's. I don't know. It's some interesting bullshit. Sure. If it's true, good for him. I guess he good pulled for it off. Him? Put it for like putting rings. But bad for the rest of us. It's a, It's something to do with like the parallel structure of the two trilogies. It doesn't matter. Is the, it a way to justify watching these movies? No, it's a way to justify like how boring they are, I think. I don't know. The point is she pressed the same button. It's insane. The ship <laughs> clearly had more than one button. And he was like, he's like, that's the thing. Like that, the whole movie, like you can tell they spent so much time in just this empty warehouse and spent so much time just making sure like, oh, they said that line. Okay, check. Mm-hmm. And then they like, and then he like would call up his effects team, like, "Hey, how is Bug Sergeant Bug Grandpa going? Is he almost rendered? Okay, cool. <laughs> what, Natalie? Now you press the button. That's fine. <laughs> Moving on." And they just didn't even bother to be like, "Oh, right, she already pressed that button." Like, yeah. there's no, I don't know. It's insane. Natalie, Natalie, when he uh, when he reaches over and touches your bare back, that should be uh, welcome. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Natalie, that? George says George you're says... you're acting too violated by <laughs> this non-consensual touch that this sociopath teenager is uh, enacting right now. This is a this is a love scene. <laughs> you hate sand too, you know. Think about it. Yeah. Now that you think yeah. about it this way, you hate the sand also. Right. Oh. It just I'm so angry. Yeah, it's worse than I remember it. Like yeah. their relationship, like he's actually more of a creep supreme than I remembered him and, being. And 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 there's so little justifiable reason for her character to even like not be creeped out by right? him. She should immediately request someone else be her yeah. protective Jedi. She should have Maybe transmitted her hologram was... to be like, "Hey, oh, yeah. Jedi Council." <laughs> Yeah. I do want to bring up the point. There was one point where they're like all toward the end. They're like all on a plane and then she falls out of the plane. Yeah. And like the entire time, uh, what's his face keeps getting yelled at for not doing his job of protecting Pat. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> and then he's like, I want to go save her. And then he's like, you can't do personal things right now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's <laughs> uh, yeah. But also, there's a moment where she says, I'm suddenly a little scared. And she's never suddenly a little scared. She's been very, very brave the whole time. Yeah. And he's like, Yeah, this is my first assignment. Me too. Ha ha ha. At least we have R2D2. And then, sort of a laugh. I'm like, Yeah, I would like a more experienced Jedi, please. Yeah, right. And maybe one that doesn't use me as bait for an assassin. And then get in an argument with his dad boss and forget to protect me until worms are nearly eating my face. Oh, yeah. The I'm space sorry, millipedes were kind of cool. I like the space that was millipedes. A good scene. That was the first thing I liked in the movie. Yeah. yeah. It's gross. <laughs> they are gross. I hate, did, they yeah, did their I job. Yeah, I mean, they did a good like job. They reaction. were gross. Yeah, it's a shame that R2, like, even though he apparently has, like, jet packs mm-hmm. and, like, a bunch of crazy shit, it's a shame he doesn't just have, like, a little, a little red flag <laughs> that he can <laughs> unfurl. Like... In, within Padme's field of vision, every time Anakin says something problematic, it's like, <laughs> yeah, because there are a lot of red flags. That's a lot of them. Oh, oh boy, she's too old to fall for that shit. And like, okay, they don't show another. I mean, I don't know. Whatever, it's fine. It's just she's. It's just like she's so accomplished. Yeah, yeah. And why is she? Why? Because when you are in a field with big butted <laughs> lizard cows, oh, yeah. you just feel the moment. You roll around in the grass. Oh God! It's Ugh. just like it's like it's like someone who has never. Oh God! It's like someone who's never experienced love. 
Wow. Wow. Well, maybe not. I don't know. That's kind of bleak. Like, it's like she's another teenager. Yeah, it's weird. Like, she's like, this is how love should work. But she's an adult woman. Yeah, it's like reading Twilight. I don't know if you've read Twilight. I've been told about it's it. It's like, it was, it, <laughs> watching this movie was like reading Twilight, except you replaced Belle with like Hillary Rodham Clinton. Mm -hmm. And you're supposed <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, sure. just, I understand she's younger than that. But she's. But I mean, like she has had some experiences. She specifically calls out how she like kissed a boy at Young Space Congress camp yeah. or whatever. Yeah, she's not like. And he's know, like jealous could... of that twelve year old. Oh, yeah, that was that amazing. Was so he's just like, weird. oh, fine, whatever. It's like, dude, I you're like twenty. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? Like yeah. he's so he's already yeah like he's already too damaged for it to like be plausible that a woman of her position. Yeah and intelligence would ever fall for that mm -hmm. right yeah or at least like wouldn't marry that like i mean maybe if she's just looking for a little something you Whoa, know she's just sure. had she's had a long <laughs> space ride just get some space strange yeah right exactly <laughs> like oh she's she just gotta relax she's people are trying to assassinate her yeah, yeah. maybe he's got a good bod under that weird jedi poncho i don't know oh. is he an attractive man i don't know no, he, he's a child an I mean... attractive child <laughs> I mean, is he a hot teen? I yes. Mean, and he needs to cool it. Yes, he does need to cool it. <laughs> he really needs to cool he it. He really needs to cool it. They have he that one scene where he's mostly shirtless under the sheets, but he's oh, having yeah. a nightmare about oh, his yeah. mom. Yeah. And then she says, I heard you had a nightmare last night. Oof. And he's like, Jedi's don't have nightmares. Yeah, he's such a and she's dick. Like, I heard you. And then he's like, okay, well, let me reveal Ooh, yeah, this weird. nightmare that I did have, even though I just lied to you one second ago. <laughs> and then he says to her, my mother was standing... As close to me and is as real as you are right now. Yeah. Like, do not tell no, an older that was... lady that she is as real to you as your mom was. That was, was in your like, dream no, was that like... was the that was the like pickup artist <laughs> book. Like, come back and it's like, no, 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 use the opportunity, use the conflict. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't bring any. He just doesn't bring any subtlety to his creepiness. Mm -mm. Like I know I talked about this. Whatever we did our last Star Wars thing. <laughs> yeah. Of how good a job I think Adam Driver's doing of being a complex creep. Yeah, mm -hmm. dude. With adolescent rage. Yeah. And this is a similar character, but yeah. Hayden Christensen does not deliver. No. Yeah. Whoa, actually, like that's really interesting to compare those two characters yeah. because, wow, they are different. Well, but it's like, <laughs> but like. That's what's so yeah. That's what's so ridiculous because like that's like literally like the point of Adam Driver's character in these new movies that he's like basically the same guy that Anakin yeah. supposedly was. We're told. Yeah, but Wait, he's like for which? Who does he play? What? Kylo Ren. Which one is that? He's the evil one in the new one. The oh, young... that guy. With oh, the little goatee. he's got that triangle thing. What? Yeah, what? got it. What triangle thing? His Mask? torso is shaped oh, like okay. a giant triangle. That's body fine. Let's body shame. <laughs> no, I'm Adam not body shaming. It's like it's just, I'm just weird, saying like, that they hot, find a body. lot of reason to have him in just a towel. Yeah, he's a good looking hot, dude. Yeah, but also weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's like soft but muscular at the same time. <laughs> He's just know. broad, you guys. Yeah. All right. Blame oh, his trainer fine. if you have a problem not, with it. I'm not, Jesus. I didn't like think he was weird looking when I saw that movie. But I also wasn't like, whoa, <laughs> like the, the internet was. Oh. <laughs> what? The internet was like, whoa, in a good way or a bad way? Yeah, I think way. a good way. I feel way. like both. Oh. I feel like people came at it from two different angles. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Hot but weird. weird. Hot but weird. <laughs> but that's, that's him. He's yeah. bringing like, yes. a complexity to the character. A that complex, is even not... a complex hotness? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> Which is clearly something they were kind of going for with this Anakin, with Anakin's character. Is he it's... their kid? Who? Who is this character? Whose kid is he? He is Anakin's grandson. Nephew. Nephew. Oh. What? Right? No. No. Grandson. Yes. Grandson. Because yes. Leia's also his kid. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oof. So we Leia got and. Go ahead. <laughs> Hans Olo. Hans, Hans Olo. Kid. A Star Wars story. Yes. Go see it in theaters yes. now. Hey, Kathleen, remember how you're making new movies because people were so annoyed by these old movies? You're welcome. We're telling people about how annoying these were and they yeah. should try a new version. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, this one, Attack of the Clones. Oh, the second one, the fifth one. The third. 
heard. I don't understand the title. Yeah, when did the attack of the clones no, happen? No, the clones there defend. Was... Oh, I had oh. such a problem with this. Like when I saw this movie the first time, I remember like as soon as it was like I already thought the title was stupid when it first was revealed. I'm like this is terrible. It sounds like an old fifties movie, which is kind of the point because George Lucas is so weird. He's so like tonally all over the place. Uh, but yeah, then by the end of the movie, it's like where were, where did where are the clones? <laughs> Yeah, they're like, like, when do they attack? Well, at the very end, right? Yeah, right? kind of. Uh, but they're... That cool guy comes in with them. Um, but it's Yoda. usually. Oh, sorry. I just had this vision of the clones coming in, uh-huh. and then the kid just sees his dad oh, die. Sure. And then at one point, one, the, the helmet gets knocked off another one, and there's like a moment where like he like thinks it's his dad again. Oof. That could add so much to that movie. Yeah, that would have made it way more interesting. Right? Mm-hmm. Complexity. Yes. Yeah, this he needs like complexity. Has the helmet and then he like turns it and there's just like a bunch of his dads walking yes. around. Yeah. And he has to be like Brr. That'd be great. Oh my God. That movie would be so good. Yeah. <laughs> what were we saying? Oh, Sorry. Well, why is it called Attack of Clones? It's not. Because Attack of the is that's the villain of the movie? Is that where you're going? Yeah. It's just like, like that structure. Usually with how movies work Attack of the something means like, oh, our protagonists are definitely going to get in the scrape against this thing. A killer tomato. Yeah. No, they come to defend our protagonists. Right. But they also are evil. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like, it's almost like, hey, if you've already seen the third movie that doesn't exist yet, you'll understand that these characters in the title are a threat to our heroes. Ugh. It's just so, it's just all, it's just, I don't know. I, I, I. I didn't. I didn't like this. I just, I just, yeah. I uh, it was. I wish you could. I wish you could just see how despondent we all were. I think you can hear except it. Except for Lyndon. I think you can hear it in your voice. I don't the, think, we've I don't barely think. talked about Count Dracula at all. Oh, Space oh, Dracula. He does a good job. He, I don't know. Does he though? His name him. is essentially like Count Dracula. Yeah, what he is, is a count, count. Count Duco. Count Duco. Duco. Yeah. The Jedi will. I am ruin. not your father. Yeah, basically, right? Right. Yeah. He, <laughs> like, he does a good job in the sense that he does a good Christopher Lee impression, yeah. right? But yeah, like, <laughs> is he doing an impression of himself? You know what I, I mean? That's kind of what I mean. Like, my, uh, I think my fears were realized were like he kind of he would probably be kind of a good character if anything coming out of his mouth had any value whatsoever or wasn't just like the most stilted dialogue in the world. Yeah. It's true. He does act the hell out of it, you know? Oh, but that, like he does do that. Um, there's that amazing moment where he's on top of the bug arena balcony and he just does this like really chill, like Dracula finger thing that tells all the robots to like stand down. Yeah. That was pretty slick. Yeah. That was cool. No Him cape flourish though. Escaping Ugh. on like a, cape. a recumbent bike. Oh, that, was awesome. that, was. that was awesome. <laughs> Like, that was clearly, like, they just put him in a recliner yeah. around a green screen. And just like, Chris, you're right. Chris, George says you're driving a hover bike. So just put your hands up a little bit, and we'll put the handlebars in later. It was like, it should have been an exciting chase scene. Instead, mm-hmm. he's, like, going for, like, a nice Sunday <laughs> like ride he's, around. He's, like, at the grocery store. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's just Look going around. down to Whole Foods to, like, get <laughs> some... Then he fights Yoda. Yeah, after fighting everyone else. Yeah, we didn't run down Beth's bit, but oh, one yeah. of them was there's a Yoda fight is disgusting and weird. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, I don't know. I was. Asleep. I mean, Yoda was kind of cool. Like yeah. Yoda, the character, like it's always cool that he's like so assured or yeah. whatever. Here, I don't know that I like seeing Yoda fight. I think it's the jumping. I think right? part of the coolness of Yoda is how like centered he is. Yeah. That's exactly what I was thinking. If you map kung fu movies, oh onto yeah, this, totally, which yeah, yeah, you're supposed to. You absolutely that's are. Fucking the force. Yep. Yeah. He's like your old wizard master. Yeah. Who for sure. Is a badass, but because he doesn't have to do much. Yes. Like he just picks the perfect movement and then defeats you. Yeah. Like dodges you and does a one hit punch or yeah. something. Not flips around like a maniac. Well, and it's so it's weird that they <laughs> it's even, too much it's weird that they actually did that scene right they started with like oh i'm the most like i've become more powerful even than you and he, like he shoots lightning at him and yoda just catches it because he's a badass yeah. and like so they already basically did that scene you're talking about but then like literally the screenplay emerges from christopher lee's mouth and it's just like clearly we cannot win this with force <laughs> powers and we will use our skills with lightsabers yeah. and so like <laughs> It, yeah, like that clearly just got tacked on. But you're right. Like everything we know about this character, like he should have just been like, 
okay, and then just, I don't know, force exploded his lightsaber or something, Or, or right? even, like, he can have a lightsaber, but, but just kind of go like, it's minimalist. Meh. Like, at the end of the of the Matrix, when Neo becomes the one, yeah. and he's, like, defending oh, yeah, against doing Mr. It all slow. Smith's, like, that's great. a million punches, yep. yeah. just, like, slow one hand, like, that's... He could have done that. He should have yeah. just, like, kept one arm behind his back yeah. and just casually mm-hmm. sorted around. I think what happened was they were, like, we got a CGI Yoda. He's no longer attached to a hand. Right. Yeah. So we're going to throw him up in the air and make right. him do flips and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> okay. They oh. thought about what they could do instead of thinking about what they should yes, do. Yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. The Ian mm-hmm. Malcolm paradox. Mm-hmm. Do you think, just for this, for uh, to have a, <laughs> a moment of Star Wars positivity, okay. can we just picture for a moment that the first scene they filmed for Attack of the Clones was the Dooku Yoda fight, <laughs> and they had the puppet. And they tried just <laughs> tossing him around with interns in like green suits, and that's when they decided they needed to make a CGI Yoda. Yeah, sure, because that would be better than like they were committed to a right, like they'd already frenetic fight. Yes, <laughs> it just didn't look right tossing the Yoda puppet around. Yeah, or even better, Frank Oz wasn't he himself was in the green screen suit and literally just kind of like danced around Christopher <laughs> Lee with the Yoda puppet You're like it's legs flailing like when Muppets fly <laughs> just like flop around I would watch that I would absolutely watch just that outtake Kermit arms yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Frank Oz is probably making dirty jokes to people yeah oh. <sighs> really yeah he makes dirty jokes oh okay but like not creepy ones like no. funny ones no like he's oh. a, like he's a yeah, he's like a comic guy. Silly. Oh, okay. Been silly. He's just been silly over there. Yeah. All right. Get it? I get it. We can quickly note on Beth, who did not see it. Oh, Beth. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anakin's a T. Yes. Nailed it. <laughs> Loves Padme. Nailed it. Yep. No banging. Not yes. yet. No, they didn't bang. They not weren't married marriage. until the end of the yeah, movie. They, yeah. I mean, in his dreams, every, every night. night. As Dan <laughs> said, he had been space jacking. <laughs> oh, yeah. For his entire For real. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome, world. Yeah. No pod racing. True. True. No cool fights. No, I would no, say there's a couple. There's cool a couple fights. cool fights. Yeah. Coolish fights. Cool. Oh, pretty decent fights. Yeah. I don't know what this next one says. Gort. <laughs> what? <laughs> government. Oh, oh boring <laughs> government. Stuff. Gort. Yeah, there was a little too much gort in this movie, <laughs> yeah. for sure. There was some boring government stuff. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh, I spaced out. I don't know what happened. Yeah. It's this was also. So, Jar-Jar I mean, Banks gets tricked into. <laughs> yeah, he gets Basically, tricked. take having the emperor take over. And it's so weird how apparently a gibberish speaking lizard man, like, <laughs> I mean, just. Barely even like getting the words out was enough for like a chunk of the Galactic Senate to start just like cheering wildly, like, yes, let's give complete authoritative mm-hmm. control to this man because the gibberish lizard man <laughs> told us we should. Yeah. Like, was why just, was there cheering? That's what I understand. I, yeah, they just needed someone brave enough to, to suggest it, but then everybody it was else like, was like, right away, like, yeah, let's do it. Like Great. Oh, like, so shouldn't, like, there have been at least been like a Greedo being like, you know, blah, 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 blah. and then the subtitle is like, "We cannot give this much power to one man." Like any yeah, any resistance no, at all. Literally, the people are dancing. Yeah, there's a guy doing this weird like robotic football move or yeah. something. Oh, it's amazing. So that happens. Nailed like, it. <sighs> angsty teens, angsty yeah. teen. teen. Yeah, yeah, nailed it. Mm-hmm. You and mind whispers. <laughs> No, oh, he, he doesn't just ever like peek around the corner like no. I thought he yeah. would be. No, Even he's though a, he's a detective he's, for yeah, most of the movies. I thought he would Space have to, is worst detective. He's, yeah, pretty he is. like clear about where he is. Yeah, at he's all the least time. subtle detective yeah. in the world. I thought yeah. he had to do some sneaking, but he, he does, doesn't. Like, no sneaking. No sneaking. I mean, yeah. I guess he like plans on it, but then hippie space giraffe is just like, oh, welcome. We were expecting <laughs> you. Yeah. And then it's like, oh. Cool. Okay. Hippie space giraffe. The rebellion is attacked by clones. No. Yeah, yeah, that is yes. So not, I think, what you were thinking. Yeah. No, but the yes. separatist army is attacked by clones. Yeah, which yeah. they're the rebellion, sort of. Indeed, but not they the are. Rebellion. Uh, it's yeah. Anyway, oh, Jedi are killed. Yep. Some. Yoda fight sucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good for not having seen it. Yeah, yeah. you it's actually like you pretty much crushed it. It's really good. Um, anything else? Oh, just I didn't think about it as much until Beth mentioned like how traumatic uh, Boba Fett's childhood was. But like since Sam Jackson is the one that 
you know, just cuts off a dude's head in front of mm-hmm. his son. It's uh, almost it makes it even worse that at the beginning of the movie, he literally the same character says that Jedi are keepers of the peace, not soldiers. Uh, it's like, really? The magic space wizards yeah. with laser swords? Yeah, maybe you don't consider Jimmy yourself Smiths, soldiers, but not you, sir. Yeah, Smitty was the peacekeeper. Yeah. He's the one who's just like, wait, maybe we shouldn't give all the power to this one man. <laughs> And they were like, shut up, Jimmy. Yeah. Lizard boy, you can say these words <laughs> yeah. for us. Oh, Misa. I'm sorry. No, this was Jar Jar Banks. <laughs> the, wealthy, <laughs> the wealthy uncle. Ah, yes. Misa will definitely <laughs> say those words. <laughs> pip, pip. Pip, pip. <laughs> anyway, the Jedi are incompetent oh. boobs who apparently don't even know their own mission statement. <laughs> oh, yeah. Also, they, they drop in the middle out of nowhere that their force is weak now. Oh, yeah. 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 What? Um, what? That it's should be like the whole side? plot of the movie, right? But wh- why is it weak? I don't know. They don't explain why it's weak and or what it really why does. Sa- it- does Samuel L. Jackson's character not get the same message that? I mean, I understand that Yoda He's is like, like the best. super best. Yeah. But I mean, you feel like you get some kind of tingle. He's supposed to be like second like best, something. right? And like second best. Yeah. Like you think he'd be like, huh? I feel something weird. And Yoda's like, yes, the unbelievable grief and sadness and pain and and hatred yeah of he should have walked into that room and have been like did you feel it too yeah right. yeah right but instead, instead he just like, like i don't know we should have like been the people who wrote this movie right <laughs> yeah. hey i already said <laughs> kathleen ten, kennedy ten million, 10 million dollars a month <laughs> i will write these movies we for could you. rewrite the prequels and get money for that uh in a couple years maybe okay cool. <laughs> i mean they do want to churn these things out until yeah. everyone's dead i'll send yeah. a letter okay good okay. <laughs> dear lucasfilm group <laughs> Delete these old ones. Yeah. Have us write the new ones. I shall be writing the new script via tweet. That's right. <laughs> Scene one. Interior. Space government. Jar Jar Banks is counting his space money that he's just gotten from the space pharma lobbyist. Oh, wait. They no. We're just just saying saying like, no. Features. He's not. Too much gort. Room. This Although, is too much gort. <laughs> I, do, I do like the idea of Jar Jar Banks being in the new movie. Right? Oh, my God. <laughs> he should be in there. Because then, hey, we're already cutting costs. It's like we can just use the old model, (laughs) the old CGI model, and just slap a monocle on. (laughs) Done. We've already created a new character. (laughs) New toys. Are you listening, Kathleen? Jar Jar Banks. Jar Jar Banks. Real money grabbing fists. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, boy. Well, before we get to our final ratings, we like Uh, to read a review of our own podcast, Toad's Recall. In the impression of a character from the movie, With so many characters, so many in the options. Movie. Mm-hmm. We don't have any reviews. Oh. Come on, sad. Yeah. Hey, teens. Hey. Hey. Take one it... moment for being hot <laughs> and space jacking out there <laughs> and write a yeah. review of our podcast on yeah. iTunes. Yeah. yeah. Five star review. Five yeah. star review. Do yeah. it. Do it. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're right. just assuming that they did it? Yeah. Did you yeah. give, you give them some time to do it? Yeah. Oh, I sensed it, job. right? I sensed so it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Review yes. for us. That's so weak now for some reason. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ugh. Our mind so. is clouded by this crap movie. Yeah. Oh, we can't we can't sense anything in the universe because there's too powerful a toxic masculine <laughs> presence in our order. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> All I'm getting is visions of Padme. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh no! Oh, you scandalized yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Dan, you gave oh yes. predicted two. Yep. Mostly because oh. of Space Dracula, yeah. a reference you gave uh, Phantom Menace one point five. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. I think yeah. I think I'm actually. I think this one is worse because <laughs> yeah. yeah because like. The first one was, like, the first one is a terrible movie, but there's so much, like, ridiculous shit happening that it's kind of fun to, like, drag on it while you're watching it. But, like, this one, like, there isn't even that much ridiculous stuff happening. It's just, like, ridiculous how little is happening, (laughs) right? Does that make any sense? Yeah. It's like how little is happening or how much is happening, but how little investment there is in it. Or like how little is accomplished with what ah. is happening. Like there are four scenes that you do the what? same if you thing. you want to execute three people, you can just do that. Yeah. You can just do that. Well, fucking Space Dracula apparently had space lightning the whole time. Why didn't he just space <laughs> lightning the three of them from his balcony? Done. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Anyway, uh, what, what did I give Phantom? One. 1.5. 1.5. 
<sighs> and what is this Cl- clone? Oh, these are clone um, whisper hats. Clone whisper hats. Yeah, that's right. <sighs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna keep it positive. Take a Star Wars minute and give it an entire hat. I will wow. give it one hat. Oh my gosh! For <laughs> simply for the <laughs> sake, <laughs> for the sake of that cape that was so nearly flourished, but it wasn't flourished. <sighs> You're right. Point seven five <laughs> hats. God damn it! There were so many opportunities. He was literally, Space Dracula was literally holding an edge of his cape while he was pacing around mansplaining to Obi Wan Kenobi, and he could have flourished. Oh, that was the other moment where the editor cut too soon. We didn't get the flourish, but he was literally walking into shadow, like he was disappearing into the shadows while he did his little stinger line to Obi Wan, and they wiped away before he actually went into the shadows, proving he was the Dracula of the galaxy. Mm-hmm. So all we got was Christopher Lee doing that badass finger move to tell the robots not to do anything, <laughs> and other than that, he was wasted. And spoiler alert. He gets a bunch of parts of his body cut off at the beginning of the third one, and no more space Dracula. Oh. Wow. Point five hats. <laughs> oh, damn again. Great, Beth. Uh, you predicted uh, point two five on this one <laughs> because you gave uh, the first one point five. I can't read my note. A broken okay. lightsaber. A broken lightsaber. Uh, broken lightsabers. That's yeah, right. I don't know that. That is um, low enough. (laughs) I don't think I've ever been more bored watching a movie. Like the most interesting thing to me was like trying to guess which which part of the screen the wipe was going to come from. (laughs) (laughs) Um, And it did come from everywhere. (laughs) Yeah. Like why? Oh, man. I mean, I I feel like I can't go lower than a quarter. (laughs) It's just ridiculous, right? Hey, man, these are hats. Okay. I'm... Like, like point two, two. <laughs> For the so rest you're, time. Just, you're just wait. So you're just like shaving off a little bit of the like small portion of a hat you already had out of spite. Yes. All right, that seems appropriate. Yeah. Great. Point two two six. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I gave it a. I gave it. A, I was being beel bold and saying two. Yeah, you were beel bold. Oh open God. to the possibility yes. that this would not suck. I gave uh, Phantom Menace a half a half a point. A broken flashlight. Yeah. This was worse. For sure, worse. Oh. The, the Phantom Menace had moments that popped, like it was too long and dragged on. The pod racing was too long but but the pod races looked cool and they were like distinct racers well and, and he had that little kid who was like hey larry at least... <gasps> i forgot about oh, sideline yeah. friends oh, oh we're, gonna go we're gonna go play ball <laughs> we had none of those in this movie i was nothing delighted me in this movie yeah <laughs> well in the pod god race, damn it the pod race at least had like some sense of velocity yeah, right? like there are moments in this movie where they are literally chasing each other, and it just felt like they were just ambling along like, through the mm-hmm. asteroid field or through the arena. So like, point one, oh, a tenth of a hat. <laughs> <laughs> like take take like a like a one of those bicycle racing hats yes. that has like no brim. Yep, yep. Take all of the hat part off of yep. it, and then also. Cut the back so you can't wear it as a hat. Yeah, and you just kind of like lay it on your head. <laughs> That's what this is. Kind of lean your head yeah. in a certain way. This movie was so long and so boring. <laughs> I hated it. I hated it. I feel like I want to give it a zero, but like they made a movie, so yeah. I have to give them something. Well, they made a like, movie, and some of the aliens. I want to cool. give it like. I mean, I want to <laughs> give it more just because it's like again like. Wow, how original. A bunch of people on the internet shitting on this yeah. movie right. a decade and a half later or whatever. I mean, the costumes are cool. Some of them, yeah. A bunch of really cool costumes. Some people worked very hard in this movie. Oh, so hard. So hard. And they just deserve so much more. But that's so also more. like why it's bad. Because mm-hmm. they worked so hard and made a bad movie. But like if if the, it script been... was, the script is frustrating. Yeah. And like, you can't overcome that. Yeah, like I want to at least props to the design team for like trying their damnedest. Yeah, at least yeah. that's like they had to build literally an entire world 
mm-hmm. on, on a, a computer. computer. That's and amazing. Many worlds, really. Yeah. Like, yeah. It was a lot of different textures and color schemes. Mm-hmm. That was cool. Yeah, good for yeah. them. Uh, <laughs> I'm sticking with it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Tap me in the hat. Yeah, it's fine. Yep. Molly. <laughs> you <laughs> predicted a three. Wow. Whoa. Optimism. And you gave Phantom Menace a one. Oh, oh. And I think I think you were thinking of like compared to Freaky Friday. Yeah. Oh right. How three. does this stack yeah. up? Yeah. Yeah. So you actually have two ratings I, to give us. I, I just want to remind you that during Freaky Friday, you never fell asleep. Yes, this is this is the Toast We Call First that you actually fell asleep during a movie. Oh. Or at least willingly. Like, literally said, like, I'm going to go to sleep now. <laughs> and you left the viewing experience yeah. not out of fear for yeah. the animal just because you couldn't I don't think you walked out of Freaky Friday I think you feared for yourself in that moment yeah. I don't think you walked out on Freaky Friday I think you suffered through it but you didn't walk out at one point oh, those are just God. facts it's up those to you. are all facts follow I your heart still follow your heart I feel like nothing is, can be worse than Freaky Friday nothing can nothing nothing so okay then I feel like this clone whisperer hat is a detective hat. Okay. And it's the kind, it's a Sherlock's home kind, and it's got like the little button on the very top. Yeah. I give it that button. Okay. (laughs) Very good. So I'm going to say 0.8. That's almost a whole hat. 0.08. There you go. (laughs) There we go. (laughs) (laughs) Great. That's like the DUI limit. If <laughs> cats or alcohol. Yes. Yes. If this movie were any better, you'd get pulled. You get. It'd be illegal to watch because it's be, dangerous. I don't know. It, well, That's you, the only that is the amount you can consume. Yes. Safely. That is the amount this movie is worth safely. I guess. I don't know. This movie sucks. <laughs> Totes Recall is hosted by Molly Chase, Beth Gibbs, Dan Jaquette, and Dan Linden. Produced by Beth Gibbs. New episodes of Totes Recall drop on the 15th of every month. For more information and bonus content, visit us at totesrecall.com. Thank you so much for listening.